Damn it, I screwed up my intro. I had my audio muted, so it wasn't as cool as it should have been. Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here. I'm back with another stream for you. How's it going, everybody? We're back within the wonderful world of Azeroth. I have some updates for you guys. First, I want to say, um, what's up uh, to everybody here? Uh, thank you to Max Booger for the Tier 1. Appreciate that. Straza Music for the Prime. Dill Pickle for the Prime as well. Thank you, guys. How's it going, everybody? Um, updates. <clears throat> so I kind of debated you guys with the title. During the intro, I decided I didn't want to play Sod today. I'm going to play Hardcore today. So, yeah, refresh the stream and you'll see that we're doing Hardcore instead. Uh, this is my Survivalist Melee Hunter channel. Actually, is this working? Survivalist... Yes, okay. Um, as you can see in the chat, the Survivalist Hunter, here, let me turn this down a smidge, is a special challenge where this is hardcore mode, which has permanent character death. Um, and the Survivalist Hunter is a melee-only hunter. I am not allowed to, as you can see here, marksmanship, spells, nothing. Gun, absent. We are melee only. We're only allowed to put talent points into the survival tree. I'm level 28 on this character. I've not died yet. And uh, the goal is to hit level 60 without dying. So we'll see if uh, this is possible. But we're going to continue along here today. Um, trying to remember where we left off. It's been a little while. And I also have some updates for general... Uh, general uh, channel stuff, stream stuff, YouTube stuff. So there's a video releasing on my YouTube channel soon. I've, I've I'm added a sponsor for it and we're just kind of going back and forth and making well, sure that's all hunky-dory and stuff. Um, and it's the weekend, so I, I, I don't think I'll get a response until Monday. So I think like Monday or Tuesday, you guys will see that, that video live on the channel. It is a... Um, a Diablo 3 documentary. It is the uh, premiere of a new series I'm calling Dumpster Fire, where we go over all of the dumpster fires of social media and yada yada blah blah. I've told you guys about this a million times already, so I won't repeat myself too much. Uh, so that one is done. It's like a 40 minute video. I've also begun to do video game reviews, the first of which is Sekiro. Right before stream here, actually, I had just finished the script and voiceover for that one. So that one's going. Uh, after stream here tonight, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start editing that one. Um, let me just hang on. Let me get my bearings here. Where am I to go? So we just did all of Red Ridge. Duskwood? How's Duskwood looking? Actually, we have a turn in there. Maybe we can just go to Elwyn or something. Well, just, let's just walk for now, maybe. And then we'll try to figure out where the F we want to go. Dungeon that stonks. That's probably pretty deadly right now. Oh, we can do the... Okay, we'll do we'll do Duskwood, but let's walk to Elwyn first and turn in this quest. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to start doing video game reviews and also... Just so you guys know, uh, I've refunded Dragon's Dogma 2. I decided I'm not going to play that game. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, you guys know me with microtransactions. I don't typically like supporting games with microtransactions, but that's not really the real reason. The real reason is that Dragon's Dogma 2 is kind of getting lambasted. It has PC performance issues, and it, I don't know. It's not uh, it's not looking too good right now, and I want to play a game that I know I'm going to enjoy. So I've kind of I've put a, a kibosh on Dragon's Dogma 2 for now, um, and uh, I think what I'll probably do instead is Elden Ring. So hopefully that doesn't disappoint anyone. But uh, yeah, yeah, I've, I've put the kibosh in Dragon's Dogma 2. Hey Kevin, thank you, man. Uh, sponsors Doritos. I would definitely, I would definitely take a Doritos sponsorship. That would be a, ma a, a match made in heaven, actually. That or Mountain Dew, one of the two. 
Uh, the Patreon sneak peek and DL3 is solid as always. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate that, man. Yeah, I'm really happy with that video. I think you guys will love it. I'm really excited for that series. On the Well, I'm excited for Twitch and streaming as well, but um, I'm really excited for my YouTube channel in general. I got a lot of cool ideas for you guys, so I hope you, uh, I hope you enjoy. So yeah, like I said, that Diablo 3 video will be out in a few days. And uh, after that, I'm going to do a Sekiro review. I'm really happy with the Sekiro review as well. I want to review video games, AAA games, indie games. I want to give a lot of attention to MMOs. Elden Ring DLC in June going to be awesome. Yeah, so I, I haven't actually beaten Elden Ring yet, so I feel like I should definitely take care of that before the DLC comes out, right? Um, in fact, I was thinking of maybe doing a challenge... Uh, instead of just doing a normal, boring Elden Ring playthrough, I was thinking of, uh, oh, that guy almost died. I was thinking of doing a level one wretch run. I beat the game as a level one wretch. We'll see how that goes, see if that's possible or not. It's Mevs, thank you for the Prime, man. And hey, what's up, Stuart? How are you? Yeah, I want to do challenge runs. As you can tell by what you're looking at right now, I'm I'm a fan of challenge runs in video games in general, so I feel like uh, that would be pretty fun to do, to stream for you guys live, and then we can make a review of Elden Ring, and we can also maybe make a challenge video kind of detailing my journey on beating the game as a level 1 wretch. Are you a god gamer at Dark Souls? Eh, I don't, you know, I don't like to toot my own horn, but... Just search Bad Season Show on YouTube, and you'll see a variety of level 1 wretch godliness gameplay. I've, I'm, not, I'm not a virgin to Elden Ring challenges. Uh, I've, I've, I've had my time. I, I killed Margit as a level 1 wretch without getting hit, by the way. Not even just as a level 1 wretch. Without getting hit, okay? Uh, same with Godric and a few other bosses. Did you try Plunderstorm? No, I have not. I heard that's like a battle royale mode for WoW or something. I don't. It's in retail, so I'm not really too interested in that. I've heard mixed reactions from it, but no, I'm not. Uh, I haven't been on the retail WoW kick in a very long time, and I, I don't anticipate that to change. What a moper. So yeah. Um, it's, that sort of ties into my um, my uh, yearningness to do a, a little bit more variety. Not that I'm bored with WoW, okay? Don't uh, don't take that as me being bored with the world of Azeroth. I, I do enjoy Sod. I do enjoy Hardcore. But uh, I enjoy other games too, and I want to share that with you guys. Uh, the Diablo video will be public soon. Uh... We're, I'm currently just trying to finish up a sponsor with it, Vigo. I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday I'll have it public for you guys. Yeah, I'm adding a sponsor to it, which is... We're just kind of going back and forth, making sure everything's as it should be. Variety is the spice of life. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, and I think that's... Um, it's a good strategy to... Let's get to Duskwood, right? It's a good strategy to prevent getting bored with WoW, right? Is to play things other than WoW. That's uh, part of the reason why I took my big two-year break in 2021. is because I, I got burnt out from WoW because I played it too much. So it's sort of like preventative burnout. I think that's the, a good way to treat MMOs in general. That's actually what... Uh, That's actually what Final Fantasy XIV does. Final Fantasy XIV, the developers have said that they don't want XIV to be their only game. Or they don't want the game, their game to be the only game for their players. <laughs> they want people to kind of, you know, new expansion comes out or big patch comes out. They sub for a month or two, check it out, have fun, but then they go do something else. They don't, they don't design XIV to... Demand that you log in every day, which is why um, it's hard for me to say because I'm not an expert with 14 at all, but I believe the amount of daily and weekly stuff in 14 is, is pretty limited. 
by today's standards with MMOs. So, yeah, I don't want WoW to be like the only game I play. So I think I'll just get burnt out. But I like that we also do have um, hardcore and sod, right? So we have we have two different types of two very different types of games to play, which keeps things spicy for me. Acid Five, thank you, man. What's up, dude? What's up, team? How's it going, guys? Thank you for the oh the tier one for nine months. Nice. I get to start making Twitch baby jokes. Yeah, we we've uh, we can have a Twitch baby. Acid Five. Uh, Ramsel, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Bur Burrito as well. How's it going? What's this challenge? Uh, it is a melee only hunter challenge in hardcore mode. I'm not allowed to use any ranged attacks. And I'm only allowed to put points into survival. So, and it's hardcore mode, so it's permanent character death. We've made it to 28 so far with our hide intact. So we'll, we'll see. Uh, we're able to continue that. I'm just going to do a little bit of Duskwood questing. And hopefully that'll kind of carry me into Stranglethorn Vale. Because I don't know if I want to go to Desolus. I don't believe I've done Desolus yet on this character. But that is so far away. Yeah. I don't, wait, hang on. I don't even see any quests on Questy for Desolus. Is 28 too low for Desolus? I thought I thought for sure I could start that zone. Did you have a first person only challenge pinned? Yeah, that was one of our ideas, uh, New Pratt. That was one of our ideas. We're gonna do I was gonna call it the Morrowind challenge. Maybe even without UI, right? Play a vanilla warrior, no UI first person. Honestly, a challenge like that, I'd be lucky if I'd make it to level five. Hey, Amorphous, thank you, man. Any, uh, any happenings with this game recently, you guys? I don't, honestly, uh, shamefully here, I don't keep up with news and WoW anymore. I, I kind of rely on you guys to keep me up to speed. I see Plothole says that uh, 14's next expansion got a release date. I still need to play their latest expansion. Oh, these guys are going for Stalvan. Oh, he's 32. I can probably get him. But I'm solo cell phone, so I can't I can't get help from players, so maybe I'll just return to that later. I can actually maybe get Stalvin at this point. I'll return to him. Uh, for now, let's maybe try the Worgens, and then I want to go to the Ogre Mound. Oh, you quit playing yourself, Amorphous? I gotcha. Uh, I had a classic beta, closed beta's been out for a bit. Yeah, I actually got invited to that. I am in the class, the Cataclysm beta, but I've not downloaded it. I don't, uh, I don't have any desire to play Cataclysm, sadly. I'm a, cl I'm a classic Andy through and through. Kind of, uh, grown to accept that at this point. Um, so yeah, like I said, so Dragon's Dogma 2, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna shelf for now. Oh, also, uh, last stream, I told you guys that I would get my streaming computer over to my place, and I did, so that's all, that's all good to go now. So if we do have other high-end games in the future, I shouldn't have any performance issues. I'm on my editing computer right now, though. Is this Pillager? Yeah, this defies Pillager. Okay, well, you know, we gotta focus up here. Combat time. Uh, monkey, aspect of the monkey. So we have to body pull everything. Kinda have to do a little bit of pet micro to get traps going. This is our gameplay as Melee Hunter. So we gotta pay close attention here. Each mob is possible death. Especially these ones, because they're almost orange to me. Is there some new hardcore mode? Ask Acid. Um, they added self-found mode. So, uh, yeah, one thing to make clear here. This character is solo self-found, but it's the self-imposed rule set. I, I made this character before they added that option, so I it's not, I guess, an official 
self-found character that you select on character creation. So I should make that clear. Okay. So we have to go in the cave for this quest. Because all the tainted ones are in the cave. Oh god. I have to also like shed my uh my hubris with the sod hunter, because sod hunter is much more powerful than vanilla hunter. It's like every sod class. Okay, there's a there's one called like gut spill here that patrols, so let's not grab oh god. Come on. Quick. We have to body pull everything. <laughs> Ooh, we got an entrapment proc, baby. Nice. Okay, so I have target dummy, I must remember. I got healing potions. Flash bundles are done. So, and our escape route's gonna be around along this right side here. Sod is classic on steroids, yeah, absolutely. Okay, no no named worgen yet. Okay. Yeah, Wrath was also the end of Classic for me. But Cataclysm, I always say, is more... To me, it's more reminiscent of the, the current version of WoW than it is... Oh, there he is. There's Gutspell. It's more reminiscent to the, to the current version of WoW than, than it is Classic, so if, if I... If I were to play a current version of WoW, I'd just play Dragonflight, probably, instead of Classic. Or uh, Cataclysm, I meant to say. Oh god. I need somebody to hold me. Uh, okay, one at a time. Uh, slow and steady wins the race here. Let's try to avoid any mishaps. Don't want a repeat of my other hunters. My highest level hunter was 52. Who died to a disconnect, I'll remind you. Complete fucking bullshit. Oh god, pardon me. Okay, yep. Okay, it's on. It is on. Okay, we can handle one orange, I think. And we'll get this mofo out of the way, too. It's just a shame I couldn't get a trap off. Uh, Craig? Okay. Good. It, just one orange should be alright. Eh. Never played other expansions I'll just tried. Uh, my expansion footprint with WoW is I played all of Vanilla, BC, Wrath. I quit halfway through Cataclysm because that's when my guild quit. I skipped the first bulk of Miss. I came, I came back at the end of Miss of Pandaria. Miss of Pandaria was announced, and I thought it was an out-of-season April Fool's joke. I thought it looked stupid, so I didn't buy it. But I... Uh, Warlords of Draenor looked cool to me, so I came back for WAD um, and played through all of WAD. That's when I started my YouTube channel. I played all of Legion, and I played... I guess I did play all of BFA, but I stopped making videos about BFA halfway through, so I YouTube quit BFA, like, halfway through. And then I, uh, I stopped playing retail entirely. Uh, early Shadowlands, and I have not played re retail since. Uh, as far as Classic is concerned, I played all of the 2019 re-release. I played the first bit of BC Classic, and that's when I took my big break. I missed Season of Mastery. I haven't really played Era, um, and I came back for Hardcore, and obviously I've been playing season of discovery so I played through most of WoW I'll say most of it I, I feel like I played through the best of WoW which I'll definitely take as a victory like Pandaria yeah and a lot of people say they like Pandaria and I missed out um, I can't very well say because I I haven't I didn't really experience it I only started playing it right at the tail end there so I leave that for you guys. I just I just thought the theme was I don't know, I was very turned off by the theme of it. It's I mean it's MMORPGs are 
RPGs, right? Role-playing game. Story is pretty important, so if the world and story doesn't appeal to, to someone, that's a pretty big hit. It makes it feel like uh, everything you do matters less because you're just not, you're not immersed into it, right? I guess that's what, that's what put me off for Pandaria. And I don't know, maybe just I was feeling burnt out from MMOs or maybe I was just playing something else. The Pandaria was 2012. Don't really remember what I was playing, but I don't know, it, it just, uh, just, just wasn't enough for me, I guess. Didn't appeal to my taste personally. All right, what do we got here? Get over here, you mofo. They're going to start respawning on me, I feel, so maybe I should get out of the cave. We need three more. Two more after this one. Do not want to lose this character. So, uh, I guess activities for this stream would be... We're going to play hardcore for as long as I want to uh, and then I think I want to finish Sekiro because that's been on the back burner we just have one boss left to do in Sekiro so I think I want to finish that and then uh, maybe we can start our Elden Ring challenge as well if I really feel like it I don't know it depends on how much I want to edit today because I do want to get started on that Sekiro review so Yeah, we'll see. I'm really, 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 really excited to get into reviews here. I have many games I'd like to review. I, I think I, I kind of want to start with uh, From Software Games. About Dragon Saga 2, hey, just your average bros. I, I've shelled it. It's gotten like... Um, I want to play a good game right now, and I'm not sure if Dragon's Dogma 2 is a good game. It's had a lot of issues with microtransactions and stuff. You can, like, buy resurrects and fast travel and whatnot. And, uh, when I do my reviews, I at least want to start off with games that I know I'm going to enjoy. We can eventually review bad games. There's nothing wrong with reviewing bad games. That itself has merit, but I just don't want to... I don't feel like playing a... I'm not saying Dragon's Dogma 2 is bad, but... From what I've seen, I don't know if it's good, so... I played, I, uh, what little I did play, I'd say it wasn't bad. It started off pretty slow, but I don't know. I think I'd rather just kind of play Elden Ring instead. Instead of Dragon's Dogma. No, I haven't played Plunderstorm Dublis. Played Sod. Yep, we got a, we got a, quite a few characters on Sod, actually, Ivan. Okay, they're respawning now. Okay, good idea to get out of that cave. Now we'll just uh, kill a few at the mouth of the cave. And we won't be stuck in the deep end with things respawning on top of us. Let's grab this one. This immolation trap is like so much damage actually. 56 a tick every three seconds. It's like double double my damage. Uh, because we have this clever traps, which is very, very nice. Next two talent points are gonna be improved feign death, because we learned that at 30. That's gonna be a nice safety net for us. Ah, you son of a bee. This guy keeps sneaking up on me. I hope I have enough m mana for this. Better not Raptor Strike. Save all my mana for Mend Pet between swings. You enjoy Sod? Yeah, I love Sod. Sod's super fun. My group uh, seems to be on break from raiding until the next phase, so I don't, I don't know if I want to raid anymore. Which is kind of a shame because I started my profession quest thing. I don't know. Maybe we can find a group or a pug or something. Let's see. Horhund Abyss. 
Thank you for the tier one for three months. Gino as well, how are you? Discovered you from France. Uh, you're going YouTube list to hundreds uh, of hours of your content since. I've enjoyed every second of it. Well, thank you. Thank you, Gino. Uh, I have a new video coming out Monday or Tuesday. You, you'll have 40 more minutes of me to uh, to listen to. And, uh, it's not WoW related, but it is Blizzard game related. It's Diablo 3 video, so... Yeah, I hope you enjoy, and thank you. Yeah, what's your guys' mad season play time? <laughs> we actually have a currency for tracking that by watching you earn Doritos, which you can either hoard or spend on stuff. Uh, okay, three vial fangs. I'm gonna drink real quick. It's a lo local private server with NPC bots for dungeons and raids and in Wrath era as a solar player game. Really? I don't know if I would enjoy that though. Well, I don't know. That's <laughs> it's actually kind of um, a bit hypocritical for me to say right now because I'm playing solo self found, which is uh, a very, very anti social challenge. I'm not allowed to group with people or use the auction house or anything. <laughs> but, uh,. I know a lot of the appeal of MMOs, outside from this challenge, a lot of the appeal of MMOs for me comes from the fact that they're multiplayer. I feel like you're, you're always competing with other people playing in some way. Like your mount, like for example, your mount is only as rare and as cool, or it's, it's only as rare as it is on the server, right? Like, Mimiron's head is special because there are few... Well, I'm actually, these days, probably a lot of people have it, but back in the day, there are few people who had Mimiron's head, and that's what made it special. I feel like if you remove the multiplayer aspect from MMOs, you kind of betray one of the fundamental things that makes them appealing, at least for me. Even if you're not, like, directly... Playing with people, there's there's some sort of inherent competitiveness. Like you only have as much gold as everybody else on your server. You uh, you go to a server that's been running for a decade, you earn a thousand gold. That's much less than earning a thousand gold on a server that's that's been running for a couple of months, right? Okay, two more. Let's grab this easy one right now. We're done with the ones in the cave, too, so... Then we might try to do Stalvin as well before we leave the zone. And Doritos for watching VODs? I believe no, actually. Oh, Toktgren, thank you for the, uh... Thank you for the tier one for seven months. Appreciate that. I believe you don't get Doritos from watching VODs, if I'm not mistaken. You gotta patch that. Patch that crap. Here, come on. Alright. Oh, did he resist? Here, drag him over here so we don't have respawns. How's Dragon's Dogma? Uh, I've, I'm shelving it, Tim Allen. I'm shelving it for now. I don't like the microtransaction stuff they have, and the performance issues are kind of rough. So, uh, I think I'm just going to do Sekiro and Elden Ring instead. Okay. All right, quest done. Let's do the next one. Nope, not yet. A uh, parked car, and yeah, it. By all means. That's uh, that's only one per stream. So yeah, if you see it up, go ahead and claim it. 
Riot is restarting their MMO project. No, I've not heard about this, Johaman. Said they weren't happy with the initial direction. Wow. Uh, stitches where? Oh god, okay. This is a good add-on to have. Uh, let's go this way. This is a very dangerous zone to do in hardcore mode. For obvious reasons. But we're almost done with it. Oh, you want me to give it to a random viewer? Sure. A parked car. That's very generous of you. Here, let me uh, let me hook it up real quick. Guys, a parked car is redeeming 50,000 Doritos. Speaking of Doritos, he's redeeming 50k to give to a random viewer. That is a very generous thing. I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is on a parked car's behalf. Thank you, man. And guys, please clap, okay? Please clap for a parked car. Please clap. Thank you. All right, mark that as complete. So they hang on. They restarted Riot's MMO. That's crazy. I guess um. You know, I did. I did think that it was kind of bad tidings once uh, Ghostcrawler left, right? I wonder if that had anything to do with that. I felt like that was a pretty bad sign once Ghostcrawler announced that he was departing from the project. I wonder if things in the background weren't really going too well. Or maybe, maybe I have it backwards. Maybe Ghostcrawler, the game director departing, caused the direction to get all askewed. Well, okay, maybe maybe uh, 2030 is out of is no longer possible for rights. <laughs> we got to change the joke to 2040 now, I suppose. Rip. Like save files behind a paywall. I hear there's a lot of stuff for Dragon's Dogma too. They put uh put behind paywalls like uh, fast travel revives or something it was funny because uh, i think the producer of the game or someone someone related to the development slash release said that so the game has pretty restricted fast travel and they said that um it's bad game design to have fast travel because that means that you failed to make traversing the landscape fun and they added the ability to fast travel in the cash shop <laughs> So the, the definition of fun may vary here, is the lesson of the day. That would actually be a pretty entertaining review if I were to actually play through all of Dragon's Dogma 2. And, and if it was bad, I don't know if it is, but if it was bad to make a review of it. People generally tend to like bad reviews of <laughs> bad games more than good games, actually, but... I don't know. I just, I don't want to, that game is so long. I don't want to like put in 70 hours to something that I'm not going to enjoy right now. You know what I mean? Even for content on YouTube, I'm not really willing to do that right now. So I'd rather do something I know I'm going to enjoy like Elden Ring. Maybe we could play bad, bad games in the future. I feel reluctant to say bad games because I don't I truthfully know if Dragon's Dogma 2 is bad. I haven't, uh, I haven't played it enough. But yeah, I mean, Capcom has had a reputation for that. Resident Evil 4 had... I loved Resident Evil 4 as a game. That, that game is more than worth $60 for me. But it did have uh, its fair share of microtransactions through... Or like weapon charms or something. You can get we or suitcase charms, like you get extra ammo or whatever, perks, damage with guns. Welcome to modern gaming, by the way. Mm, 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 mm. And Capcom uh, also, obviously, the, the big one, too. Saying that, if we're going to talk about microtransactions, Street Fighter V, right? Had some very, very questionable decisions regarding the monetization of V. Okay, so we need the looking glass now. 
which is from Zarkvul. Uh-oh, this is already partially cleared, I think. That's dangerous because that means stuff's going to respawn on us. All right, hang on. I got to focus up here. You guys feel free to shoot on Capcom if you want, but I'm, I got to focus on ogres right now. Did you come up with your name? What's up, uh, Lejanka? My name is a mix of two names. My original character main in Vanilla WoW is called Showtime, and everybody just called me Show. And Mad Season is one of my favorite bands, uh, despite the fact that they only released one album. But I'm a big Alice in Chains fan. They had the same lead singer. But Mad Season and Show are like always taken on these online platforms, so I just kind of combined the two. Mad Season Show. It's pretty unoriginal all around, I will say. How do you guys like Plunderstorm? I've seen a few people uh, mention it here today. I've, I've not played it, um, but I hear it's good. Shaw of Thirst, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. And Chrissy as well, thank you for the Prime, Chrissy. Boom, baby. Level 29. Uh. Okay, let's focus on... Okay, okay, there he is. Oh, is this going to be a double? This might be a double. Oh, okay. We just have to have nothing respawn on us. Okay, come on. Maybe a single. Come on. No, it's a double. Okay. Got to focus up here. I'm actually going to tank this thing for a little bit with deterrence. And I'll have my pet grab him. Okay, now you grab. Okay. I'm gonna have to target dummy here, I think. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Let's not panic yet. Let's save target dummy for oh shit situation. Okay, I think we're good. It's just annoying this fire aura interrupts my ment pet, so these guys are a little bit dangerous because of that, but we're fine. Yeah, I've, uh, I've not played Plunderstorm. I, I do know the basics. It's like a battle royale. Um, it's a battle royale version of WoW. So think Fortnite mixed with WoW, but yeah, I can't, uh, I have not played it, so I've, I haven't played retail in a very long time. Seems like you guys are having fun playing it, though, judging from uh, what you guys are saying, which is good. I wonder if that's something that, uh, do you guys think that'll be something that they, re they expand on in the future, then, for future expansions? Or is it just like a one-off thing? Hey, what up, Jedzy? How's it going? Okay, these have respawned now. I think I'm just gonna run to the hills. Now that the quests are completed, I'm going to turn in to Amber Crombie. More Laddam's quest is up there, but I don't, it's probably not possible. It's possible as a normal hunter, but a melee hunter, I don't know. I don't think so. I think I'd probably die, so let's just be safe. Um, in one level we can train improved feign death as well, which will be nice. Uh, so yeah, plan for the channel, Diablo 3 video, channels rather, Diablo 3 video, Monday or Tuesday, hopefully, for you guys. Um, 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 um. I want to finish Sekiro here on stream, maybe tonight, we can maybe start our Elden Ring challenge run. I just finished the voiceover for a Sekiro review, which I think you guys are really going to like. So after stream tonight, I'm going to edit that. Um, just so you guys know, 
I will not be streaming tomorrow. I got some stuff going on, so uh, sorry about the um, the sporadic nature of the streams. But um, I've been kind of uh, trying to to mix streaming and YouTube channel with personal life. It's kind of been a struggle, honestly. It has kind of been a struggle trying to give enough time and attention to all three. But I'm certainly, and uh, admittedly, streaming more so than videos and the personal life has, has kind of uh, been more neglected. But um, hopefully that'll change here soon. Alright, so I, instead of going all the way east, I'm going to go west and fly over. Yeah, I, can, I can't neglect the personal life, certainly. And I felt like really inspired... Um, Editing-wise, video-wise, I've felt really inspired and motivated recently, so I've been putting a lot of time into it. This Diablo 3 video you guys are really, really going to like, I think, so. Yeah, but hopefully we can be more consistent with streams, too. Hey, what's up, God of Dragons? How's it going? Got some heavy rain today? Nice. I love rain. Especially heavy rain. Did you guys play heavy rain? Heavy Rain, the game, I actually kind of like, but it also kind of represents kind of, kind of what's wrong with gaming, in a way, in the sense that it's a game that you can't really... Well, I guess you can lose in Heavy Rain, but I don't know. I feel like games are kind of too... Not to sound like an elitist neckbeard, but games are kind of too easy these days, I feel. Uh, you have to kind of think about why, why were video games created? To the dawn of man, the dawn of time, not even not even video games, just games in general. Like chess, for instance. Games are not necessary to our survival, I assure you, despite what you may believe. Um, they're essentially created as mediums from which to draw entertainment or satisfaction by introducing obstacles and problems for you to solve. And... Uh, Hopefully the solutions of which are entertaining or satisfying. So when you have games that are like impossible to lose, this was my problem with Warfronts in BFA. It was impossible to lose Warfronts if there's no obstacle to overcome. It kind of goes against the fundamental design of video games to begin with. Like, why am I here, right? Just to suffer. But uh, the story of Heavy Rain was pretty intriguing, so I can't hate on it too much. I, I, I would consider it more of a movie than a game, though. That's a game where, like, if you just watch a playthrough online, you pretty much got your full experience. Okay, Dusk, I'm sorry, I'm ranting. Uh, I went to Red Ridge. Uh, cancel. Drop me off right now. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to die from fall damage. Son of a... I'll never financially recover from this. Jason! Sean! <laughs> Jason? Jason! Jason! Oh, um, so aside from that, some other ideas I have video-wise, I'll pitch them to you guys right now. Um, I have, I know this is going to be shocking, but I have a, a video complaining about microtransactions in gaming. Or just mainly MMOs, I suppose. Gaming slash MMOs, kind of a, a hybrid sort of style. That script is all written, but it's a little bit too unhinged right now, so I have to kind of go back at it and kind of tone it down a little bit before I, uh... Yeah. <laughs> I was kind of upset and annoyed when I wrote the script, so it's not very good. I have to kind of go back and refine it a little bit. Uh, I have a few different ones on social media... 
I have one about being consumed by social media. Social media is consuming nature. But people just, they get so utterly consumed, but whether it be a, uh, a, a, a consumer of social media or a producer of social media, viewer or content creator, it's tendency to consume people. And I have some analyses about that as well. Um, I also have one about cry bullies. Cry bullies on the internet. That's another one. Um, I probably... Oh, I have one. I started um, another one about... Uh, kind of a documentary of Warhammer Online. Kind of following the theme of... Like my WoW Pandora's box. Video game documentaries. And actually like this Diablo 3. This Diablo 3 video is pretty much a video game documentary. But we could do uh, Warhammer Online as well. Well maybe I could just make that an episode of Dumpster Fire. I don't know. Can you constitute Warhammer Online as a dumpster fire? I mean the game got shut down. But I feel like maybe Dumpster Fire is a bit harsh. Like it was, it wasn't the greatest, but it wasn't necessarily a dumpster fire. I would say. Maybe we'll maybe we'll save that for a different type of series. Uh, I was thinking. Uh, I pitched this idea before. I know this has been done many many times on social media, but kind of like the life and death of games. I like to analyze what makes, not only just what makes games successful, but what also leads to their downfall. I think there's plenty of lessons out there that we can learn from, uh, you know, various video games shutting down that we can avoid in the future. So I think uh, kind of looking at the ones that have shut down, such as Warhammer, and kind of analyzing the reasons why would be a pretty cool series. All right, I gotta free up some inventory space. Hey there. See you around. How are you? See you around. So I have to vendor everything because I am solo self found, meaning I cannot auction. Um, I need to. What I really need to do is bank all of my ore and stuff. Ooh. Upgrade. Wow, I did not even realize this. We looted this upgrade. Straight upgrade, right there. Where did I at? See, this would be great to sell on the auction house, but... Nope. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, this is an upgrade. Because spirit doesn't... Well... I don't know. I, I'd rather have this... The stamina is very valuable. So, yeah, let's do that. Sharp claw... All these profession mats we should bank. Don't need this poopy water anymore. Wait, no, that's my good water. Get rid of that. I just want to free up like a little bit of inventory space. Tired of my crab being full. Uh. Oh, back itches. But I'm so muscular and Adonis like it's hard to reach back there. Oh god, okay, I got it. We're good. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, this is the um yeah, the embalmer quest. What can I do for you? The Jimmy Balmer quest. Wow, what a great audience. Here, go talk to this guy ten feet from me. Okay. Because we don't have Radiant AI. Todd Howard is not on the development team, so we can't interact with each other. Okay, we couldn't. So this is just a, like, talk to this guy quest, right? For free XP? Yeah. Oh, baby. Ooh, I would say this is an upgrade too, right? I, yeah, Spirit Over. We're just losing one stamina. Hell yeah, brother. Does it look cooler? Oh, it mentions my hair more. Yeah, I think that looks cooler. All right, we got to keep it then. Um, 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 what are you guys thinking here? 
What can I do for you? What are you guys thinking? For the alliance. Um. Hmm. Let's take stock of quests. So we just hit twenty nine. Neun und zwanzig. We're out of quests. Well, we can do Stalvan, probably. Stranglethorn Vale, according to my questie, is too high level. I'm not going to the Swamp of Sorrows. This is gray. That won't really give anything. Uh, looks like Wetlands is the play. Yep. It's going to be Wetlands. The Cursed... Oh, God. The Cursed Crew in Hardcore Mode. Oh, no. We also have some stuff here. Oh, no. This is where I lost one of my hunters. I did the quest where you blow up the cart. And I disconnected during it. And I died there at 29. So I don't know this if I want to do that. What about South Shore? Okay. South Shore is also looking feasible. The answer is just to go north. Um, let's first... Go ahead and... Um, Stalvan, though. Heroes of the Storm could be a game on that list for uh, for uh, dumpster fire. There's some dumpster fire elements to it, like the fact that they stopped supporting esports for it. They kind of balance the game around esports. It's a, it's a, one of men one of Bliz one of Blizzard's many failed esports dilemmas. Um, could be interesting. I'd have to do a lot of research though, because I'm mobas are not really my cup of tea. South Shore has a stealth rare event mobs though. Yeah, true. Never AFK in South Shore. That's the rule, right? I didn't realize uh, Stalvin goes outside of his house. I thought that stoop kid was afraid to leave his stoop. It looks like there's someone else clearing stuff here. Can we possibly get just Stalvin? Good. This is going to be dangerous. He hits very hard. Good. No resist. Oh. Okay, I'm, I'm just hold aggro now because I have deterrence. It's fine for now. Okay, now I'm... Uh, come on, Craig. Okay, he's got him. Okay, 63%. Eh. Oh, God. Okay, we're going to have to do some cutting. Beautiful gameplay. Okay. Okay, 43%. Going to let Craig kind of, yeah. Oh, what did I do? I did Eagle Eye by accident. Okay. Finish him. Oh, did he kill my target dummy? Or oh, God. Run. Come on, Craig. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, he's about to aggro me. Oh, he's about to... Run, run. I think Stalvan is too tough. I'm not sure if we can do that. Uh... That was with a target dummy. But it lost aggro so quickly. I think we have to come back for Stalvan. Uh, hang on, we can get the tier of Taloa though. Yeah, I don't know, There's, that's gonna be guarded by a bunch of enemies. Let's just go north. I have to go to the bathroom anyway, after that. Okay, hang on, what's going on here? Okay, this is all Nomergon. Uh, we can turn that in Ironforge for 400 XP, I guess. 
I noticed that, so hardcore is kind of dead right now. Both servers are now on low population. Even pillager is on low. Um, a lot of people are upset that they didn't launch new servers with the, uh, the self-found mode. What do you guys think about that? Maybe they should have, like, merged Pillager and Skullrock together, like how they did with the, the Era servers. And then did a new server for uh, the self-found mode. Maybe that would have been the play. Yeah, we'll have to return to Stalvin. It's too scary right now. Okay. Uh... So I think uh, we'll just go to wetlands, right? We can kill fen creepers, we can kill orcs, and then we can kill dwarves, and then maybe if we want we can head on north to south shore, grabbing this timed quest along the way. Yeah, let's do that. Um, okay, we got a six minute flight here. I am going to... Have a good one. I'm going to use the bathroom real quick, you guys. I'll... Uh, I'll be right back. A rad. Um, let's see how many 60s are on. Well, it caps out at 50. It looks like there's an AQ run going. What guild? Hardcore Elite Guild. They're doing AQ. Is that AQ 20? 50 on. Yeah, they're doing AQ 40. AQ 40 run going on right now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how many 60s are on right now, but 
Caps out old Susu. Okay, who? 60, Hunter. Wow, 40, I know Hunter is the most popular. For some reason, people think it's the easiest class to level. It's crazy. Rogue is 23. Warrior is 31. I know another issue, actually, with the uh, self-found mode is they still haven't fixed um, power leveling in hardcore mode. Like if you, people, there are certain spots in the game where you, you that has hyper spawns, you get a mob to like 50% and you have a high level kill it for you, you get full XP for it and you have like people healing you and stuff so you can never die. Uh, kind of eliminating the entire purpose of hardcore to begin with, which is to challenge yourself, but I don't know. So, what I'm saying is that people are doing the self-found mode, but it's kind of meaningless because they're just being power leveled to 60 anyway. I think they should have fixed that a long time ago. Hey, Holding McGroin. Um, I'm hoping Monday or Tuesday for the D3 video. It's all finished on my end. I'm just, we're, I'm just, uh, I put a sponsor in it, so... Have to make sure that's all hunky dory and good to go. Yeah, this game looks great. Even 20 years later, I agree. It is a timeless art style, that's for sure. Some of this does come from the Legion client, I think. I feel like the God Rays weren't in original vanilla WoW. Or maybe just my computer wasn't capable of showing them. Can they make it so others can't heal you in the outside world? Maybe. That might be too much, though. Um, that, would, that would interrupt the, the normal gameplay too much, in my opinion. You still have to let people, you know, heal each other. There's, uh, there's certainly value in, like, being a hero... And, uh, you know, seeing seeing somebody in trouble and you throw them a heal. Actually, in uh, on my priest, this wasn't on stream. I was playing off stream and I almost lost my fucking character this way. Part of my friend, sorry, I didn't mean to swear. Uh, here in the Badlands, you know the ogre patrol? There's like five ogres that patrol with each other around the zone. Well, there's a guy repairing here. And he wasn't paying attention, and the ogre snuck up on him, and they, like, net you and stuff. And then I was looking at him. He was a hunter. I was like, okay, he's going to feign death, right? He's totally going to feign death, right? And he's at, like, 20%. And then I'm like, oh, God, and I'm a priest capable of healing. I didn't want any survivor's guilt, so I did toss him a heal. Of course, they all aggroed to me. He feigned death, and he got out of there. And the mobs were like chasing me and netting me and I threw out target dummies and I threw out fears and I barely, barely, like I was out of mana and I had 20% health before they evaded back. I was barely able to get out of there with my life. How are ya? So I felt good that I saved them, but I also felt bad that I almost lost my character because of it. Oh, we can do... Uh, yeah, we can do the ingots here, too. Well, let's get war banners first, and then we'll do the ingots. Well, actually, no. Let's just do the ingots right now. Let's get killed by murlocs. You guys ready? Gotta let them die to teach them a lesson? I guess, but I don't know. He's like a level 40s hunter. I just, like, feel bad, right? You're, you're watching like a lot of hours go down the pooper. But I mean, they should pay attention too, right? It is hardcore mode. Use your feign death button. For Pete's sake. Okay, so we have to just try to do one at a time here. Focus up. So this new series is called um, Dumpster Fire. Going over all of the various dumpster fires in social media. Do you guys have any requests? 
It could be video game related. It could not be video game related. Let's drag this one over here. So I'll, I'll throw out some of mine that I'm thinking of. No Man's Sky, Fallout 76, Cyberpunk. Those are all video game related, of course. There's the, uh, uh, what was it called? The Fire Festival or whatever. Uh, you have the Kony 2012 thing. TikTok is a psyop. Maybe. Sweet Baby Ink situation, too. Yeah, I, I'm not fully up to date with that. I've seen little elements of it here and there, but I definitely have to look into that one. The Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts Legacy thing, too. That was a pretty big dumpster fire. Is this sod? No, this is hardcore mode. This is Patrick. So these things net underwater, I have to keep in mind. Some masochistic video game developer decide to have underwater mobs root you. Ugh. Internet historian? Yeah, I guess it's similar similar to what he's done. I don't know, it's hard to find something that like has never been done before though. In twenty twenty four. That itself is like a tough challenge in uh, on YouTube. Uh, the best you can do a lot of the times is try to do something in your own way. There's there's just so many channels out there. There's so many videos. Even this Diablo one, like there's there's totally been Diablo documentaries before, but uh, not that I watched all of them, but none none done in the way that I want. I want it to be done. I think I think you, you guys will find it unique when you watch it. I put a uh, I want to put a constructive spin on it. I don't want to just kind of point and laugh at all this shit. I kind of want to analyze it and kind of say, okay, well, this is where this went wrong. This is where that went wrong. To try to put a at least something of a constructive spin on it. I'd say it would be more analytical than internet historian videos. Oh, wait, I didn't get the quest for this. Oh my god. His, yeah, uh, I would say the internet historian videos are more, well, history, more of just a telling, whereas I would take more of an anal analytical feel. Overwatch 2, no PvE. Oh god, yeah, we could do an Overwatch video. I don't want to kind of bully Blizzard, though. <laughs> I'm already starting out with Diablo 3. I mean, but there are a lot of... There's a lot of content within the Blizzard sphere, as you guys know. We, Warcraft 3 Reforged is one that comes to mind. You could definitely do that. I think you could do all of Shadowlands or, or Draenor or BFA. Just pick... A bad WoW expansion. Uh, Overwatch, I feel, is one. The fact that they shut down Overwatch for Overwatch 2 so they could make a PvE game mode. And then all they ended up doing is just changing the monetization model because loot boxes started to become illegal in countries. So they switched to battle passes. And then they cancelled PvE. So it's like, what is the point of all of this? Heroes of the Storm? Yeah, a lot of you guys have said Heroes of the Storm. Yeah, we could. I think the next episode, though, wouldn't be a Blizzard game, because I wouldn't want to... I wouldn't want to bully Blizzard too much. I, I kind of want to... Uh, one of the whole points of... Uh, kind of uh, splitting away from WoW content is, just, is to sort of diversify myself. So I feel like... I feel like if I do... I feel like if I do all Blizzard stuff, that'd be like a half measure, right? We all know what Mike said. No more half measures, Walter. Alright, we need four ingots. I killed a bunch of these without having the quest, because I'm stupid.
Big Overwatch 2 got them new players. Actually true, like... I, f I feel like that was one of the reasons. What's more appealing sounding to you guys? An expansion to a game that's like four years old or however long Overwatch 1 was when they announced it to? Or a sequel to a game that's four years old? Uh, there's a huge element within video games or entertainment media in general where anything... Because something is new, it's appealing. So, from a uh, financial standpoint, from a, a business standpoint, um, people were going to be way more excited for Overwatch 2 than to an expansion to a... I think it was a pretty dead FPS game at that point, Overwatch 1. I think uh, they had stopped supporting esports for Overwatch 1 at that point. Much older than four years, it was 2016. Ah, I gotcha, yeah. Hey, Sith Trooper, what's up? I'm very excited for that series. I think, like I said, I think you guys are going to really like this first episode, and I think that'll be like a, a staple series for the channel. I have a few, uh, few series on my channel where people uh, ask quite frequently, where, when's the next episode? History of WoW is one. Um, Pandora's Box is another one. And I haven't done the history because I just kind of lost mm, desire for covering, you know, to, to very in-depth detail, World of Warcraft and Pandora. Uh, because it just takes so long. Pandora videos take a lot out of me. Like, if I were to do a Pandora video, I'd have to take like a month break from streaming, I feel. Um, but that being said, this next video, this Diablo 3 documentary, I would say is pretty much an episode of Pandora, but not as edited. Not as crazy edited, but they're pretty similar. Thank you, Crazy. Pandora is like my passion project. I put a lot of love in that series, for sure. I wonder why they abandoned the PvE mode, and did they say why in Overwatch 1? Like, what is it? Certainly it's not a resources thing, right? Are they a small indie game dev? And they can't uh, they can't keep up with the demand of a PvE game mode. Do they think it maybe just wouldn't be popular enough? Or here, we gotta get hang on, we gotta get our pet happy. Is <laughs> so what they made sucked and they had to scrap it? Has anybody uh, other than the developers played it? I mean that itself isn't new to Blizzard. Cancelation cancelizations were uh, always a part of Blizzard's culture. Um, Shoutouts to StarCraft Ghost. I feel like actually that's kind of a good thing. I feel like that's what like Warcraft Three Reforged needed. Maybe not necessarily cancelization, but like, hey, this isn't finished, so. We need more time with it, you know what I mean? Uh, Diablo 3, as you'll learn in this video, was cancelled and restarted and re-cancelled a few times. Uh, it, was, it was being made by Blizzard North, which dissolved in like 2005 or something. Partly due to their, their issues with development for Diablo 3. And uh, it was picked up by Blizzard South, the Irvine studio who had very little experience with RPG games, and it certainly showed in Diablo 3. Deal with Hellgate London. Hellgate London was David Brevik's baby. David Brevik, the creator of Diablo. He went off to go make an MMO, Hellgate London. This would be a, a good video. Hellgate London video. It was basically a, a Diablo MMO 
with like randomized dungeons and loot, but it was uh, incredibly buggy on release and had a bunch of de design flaws and it died pretty quickly because of that. Duke Nukem Forever, yeah, that's another one. A lot of the times, um, the downfall of these games is hype. Overhype, specifically. And I feel like this, this is shared with both the developers or advertisers and also the players, the community. You know, they, they see these video games out there and they think like it's the answer to happiness in their lives. They think it's it's such an it's going to be such an amazing video game and they're going to play it forever and ever and ever. And they kind of set these crazy expectations. I would say uh, No Man's Sky was certainly... This was an issue with No Man's Sky. This was an issue with Cyberpunk. Uh, Duke Nukem Forever. For various reasons. Again, I'm not, I'm not letting the developers and the sellers of the game off the hook here. Because a lot of the times they overhype it and they make promises that they can't deliver. Like uh, No Man's Sky promising a bunch of features that never made it into the game. But, uh... I don't know, it's just kind of interesting because... Hype around your product... is good, obviously, because it gets people to buy it. But it gets to a certain point to where... you, you just can't possibly live up to the expectations of what people want from you, what, you what, what you're offering them. It's like promising the world or the world being expected from you. So I'd say uh, definitely Cyberpunk, definitely No Man's Sky. The issues with this. I kind of like to do a Fallout 76. I never bought Fallout 76 though, because I thought it looked stupid. I was like, the Fallout series is perfect, why the hell would you want to change it? Why are you, why are you making it into a battle royale? It's the definition of fixing something that wasn't broken. Halo Infinite? I don't know too much about Halo Infinite personally. Is that the newest one? Halo Infinite? With the, uh, that people liked at first, but then, uh, they kind of soured on it. I think they, like, they, they monetized stuff too much or something. Ooh, Mighty Number no. 9 as well. Yes, I did hear of that one too. That's the platformer, right? Mighty Number no. 9. That was a uh, Kickstarter game. Yeah, Titan as well was another can another pretty popular t canceled game. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, didn't Titan eventually turn into Overwatch though? Like Titan was supposed to be another MMO, uh, and they built the war, the or the world and the lore and everything. And when they canceled the MMO, they kept, like, a lot of the world. And that became Overwatch. Um, yeah, all this, all this is, suffice to say, I'm really, really excited to edit some stuff for you guys. Lots of videos planned. Kind of do a uh, yin yang here with streaming as well. And again, sorry to neglect you guys on the streaming side of here of things, but uh, hopefully get a little bit better with that here. Really missed out on making a StarCraft MMO, says Kriegsy. Yeah, I've said on stream here actually, I feel like a StarCraft MMO has a lot of potential. I think the space theme slash sci-fi theme is pretty popular right now. I feel like you could pretty, you know, you, you already have this giant world <gasps> with all this lore already established. The, the world is created. You could have three factions, the Terran, 
the Protoss and the Zerg, each with special classes and stuff. You have different planets to serve as different biomes, different leveling areas, PvP zones. Um, yeah, I feel like sci-fi games in general are easier to transform into MMOs because with like space travel and everything, the world really is limitless. What can I do for you? Okay. Blessed Arm. Eve Online is still a thing. Yeah, Eve Online is its own whole story too. I still need to watch that uh, down the rabbit hole of that one. Where is Blessed Arm? Is this back to Stormwind? Yeah, Grimmond Elmorn Stormwind. Twelve hundred XP. Well, we're halfway to thirty. Um, let's grab war banners and kind of go up here. We can do cursed crew, which is scary, but we'll see. Funky Falcon, thank you for the tier one, dude. Appreciate that. Starcraft Two is probably finished. Is uh, uh, Deep Sea? I think. Starcraft 2 as an RTS is finished. Nobody really cares about RTS games anymore. I think MOBAs killed RTS games. But I think there's a lot of potential in the, for the IP. And hopefully they don't bastardize it like they did with Diablo and Warcraft. <laughs> but they probably will. Shoutouts to Warcraft Rumble and Diablo Immortal. There's going to be like Starcraft... Starcraft Engage or something. It's going to be a mobile game. Mm. RTS is too complicated for most. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's just... Um, it, it just doesn't appeal to the modern gamer. RTS games, people just, they find uh, other genres more entertaining. Could it be due to uh, humanity's waning ability to uh, to keep their attention? Like, the, 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 the attention span of the average person has waned drastically um, over the past couple of decades. And a lot of, re a lot of people point towards social media as a, a big reason for this. You no longer need to focus on anything to like get answers, whereas back in the day to find an answer to something, you'd have to go to your library and learn the Dewey Decimal System. You can just search anything now, which is convenient, but apparently it has uh, some detrimental effects on our attention span. It's probably why every video is like five seconds long now on TikTok. That's why TikTok's so popular. I don't think I've ever seen a TikTok video that's longer than like 30 seconds. That's a, that's as long as people can pay attention these days. So maybe that's why one of the reasons why uh, RTSs are going down the pooper is that it, it is a genre of game where, you know, you can't really... I mean, I feel... Well, you, you can, but it's just harder to jump right into it and understand everything and... It requires a bit of investment to kind of understand and study and learn. It requires failing sometimes. As opposed to, uh... You know, something like a MOBA where you certainly you can benefit from understanding it and practice, of course, but it's easier to get in. It's less of a steep learning curve. Let's do the Fen Creepers first. Uh, there is a new FPS, uh, RTS game coming out called Stormgate. It's made by ex-StarCraft 2 developers. I suspect it'll be pretty niche. But for those of you get those of you out there who are RTS fans, there there are new ones being made. Typically, you'll have to look in the indie game dev scene. The people who aren't, 
you know, as motivated by money as, as AAA are more willing to do more niche genres such as RTS. I want to... Hey, what's up, Lincoln Sphere? Um, so we're speaking of, like, video game reviews. How I wanted to start making them on my YouTube channel. I want to pay special attention to indie game devs. Um, especially because I do believe that indie game devs just, like, destroy AAA so many times and I want their stuff to be seen so if I can be a part of that I would like to be a part of that I want to have a, a mini review series dedicated solely to indie games finding the best indie games out there and letting them be heard because there's not enough people who know about them a lot of people write off indie in, in favor of AAA and by doing so they're really they're doing themselves a disservice because there's a lot of amazing indie games out there. Uh, every time, I swear to God, every time I do this quest for the Fen Creepers, they're never here. Like somebody had just cleaned out the entire zone of these mofos. Every damn time, damn it. Okay, well, let's just go die in the Cursed Crew now. They should spawn in this little riverway, but they're all dead. That's probably what happened the last time I tried to do this quest. Okay, so I, I'm going to have to focus for this one. This is the Cursed Crew. Uh, oh, there's somebody here already. This is the Cursed Crew. Which is kind of a tough quest, because it's in the water. And the mobs are really packed tight, and there's pathing issues. You could aggro one, and then it'll, like, he'll bring, like, five guys with them. Which sounds delicious, I know. But it's not that five guys... We don't need the captain. We need to get... See, the death area is if you go in there. I think if we just get on deck, we'll be good to go. Maybe, actually, we go to the other boat since this guy's here. So I don't have any overlap. I'm also solo self-found, so I, I feel the, the desire to try to be more solo here for the sake of the challenge. Died here many times, says J Dog. Yeah, me too. Uh, we could have a death right here. Actually, I I do not have feigned death right now. It would be quite a shame to die right now, halfway to level thirty, with full rested. Come on. Oh, he's screwing with me. Okay, there we go. I swear the aggro range is like weird on hardcore. I actually uh, don't really like five guys. I've had five guys a few times in my life. And every time the experience is just pretty bad. I don't really care for it. Come on. Oh, the burgers so what? Yeah, like they're greasy. They're so greasy. And plus one time there was a girl working there. And I'm not sexist or anything, but false advertising much? I'm joking, obviously. Please don't cancel me. Now, one time, uh, the bag actually had, like, so much grease. 
like it bro it like the the content spilled out <laughs> it was so greasy i prefer healthy fast food like mcdonald's personally all right come on and their poisonous fries or whatever come on uh, maybe we aggro this one instead oh god hang on this might be a two pull guarantee oh come on see like th this he's yellow he should aggro right Look at this! You see, you know, you see what I mean? There's something weird going with the aggro range that's not correct. Oh, Borealis, thank you for the prime. And confirmed, Craig is a female, okay? Because she got transformed into female undead. This is important in the Mad Season lore, in the Craig lore. So we need uh, 13 sailors. How many marines? This is oops, all sailors right here. Where are the marines at? Yeah, it's all sailors. I guess the other boat is marines, maybe. Well, we'll get the sailors here and then we'll go to the other boat. I don't want to go under the deck if possible. Because that's when you start aggroing everything and there's like pathing issues. Like this one that my mouse is over, I'll aggro him, then he'll like run over here. He'll grab everything along the way. So let's just stay on the main deck. The poop deck. Hey, what up, Kyle? Yep, back to hardcore today. I was going to do sod, but eh. During the intro, I felt, ah, you know what? I feel like doing some hardcore. Hey, what's up, Hashbringer? How's it going? Nice that uh, you could catch me here. Nice to be streaming. Alright, uh, let's wait for respawns there. We can try this one. You see, Bellular got the WoW sub numbers from Legion to Present. Really? Are they the official sub numbers, or is it like kind of like a uh, like estimation? That, uh, because I know you can estimate it based, like, off of Warcraft logs and stuff. That'd be interesting to know. I, uh, I've always said that Blizzard has never had trouble selling anything. Well, I, I guess aside from Dragonflight. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Blizzard has never had trouble selling expansions. It's retaining players that's been the issue with WoW. Like, if you look at uh, the sales figures for BFA and Shadowlands, they were record breakers. I think Legion broke Draenor's record. Oh god, hang on, I gotta pay attention. Legion broke Draenor's records, uh, BFA broke Legion's records, and Shadowlands broke BFA like BFA's records, and the only uh, only game to break this streak was Dragonflight. Dragonflight failed to break sales records, and uh, I'm not sure if they ever released the numbers, but that was the only exception when Blizzard wasn't able to sell anything. Uh, from a, a WoW talk at GDC, at GDC uh, the graph is official, but the exact numbers are a little speculation. Interesting. Do the, uh, I wonder what I'm really curious about. 
So 2019 classic releases, right? And um, I think it was in a uh, one of those shareholder meetings for Activision Blizzard, but it was revealed that classic tripled the subscription revenue. Is that uh? So do they have like a big uh, a big spike for when classic released in 2019? Was that was that actually true? Damn it, just all sailors. You can go in the water for the marines, it looks like, but I'd like to avoid that if I can. Grinding sod hard? Nice. Yeah, we got a hunter at 40 and sod. I like sod, but just felt like hardcore today. Been in a hardcore mood. Now, speculation is taking the graph and uh, doing some math on it based on uh, the line and the number that came out around 5.8 million currently. However, that is uh, all of the WoW subs, so it's, yeah, Retail, Wrath, Sod, yeah, that's, that's Retail and Classic. Doubled from 4.07 to 8. What was its lowest between, uh, so they stopped sharing it shortly after Draenor, right? What was its lowest between the time they stopped sharing it to today? Hey, Priesticles. Uh, I didn't play it enough to really say, but I decided to suspend my playthrough of it because it's had like a lot of issues with like microtransactions and stuff. I decided that I'm going to play Elden Ring instead of Dragon's Dogma because uh, I want to play a game I know I'm going to enjoy as, as opposed to one that I might enjoy. And uh, there's, uh, I was getting annoyed by those PC performance issues too. So I put that on hold. It's, it's going to be such a long game. I don't want to put like 70 hours into a game that I might be annoyed by. So, Hey, thank you Lockrocker too for the uh, Prime. Elden Ring streams? Yeah. Um, we could maybe even do... We could start it today if you guys want. I'm... I, uh, I wanted to start with WoW here as usual. But I need to kill Ishin and Sekiro. We have a little bit of unfinished business there. And I also want to... Uh, we're going to start an Elden Ring challenge run. I'm going to try to beat the entire game as a level 1 wretch. And I'm going to try it at first being naked. I'm, I'm going to allow myself to upgrade my club. I am going to allow myself the use of like rings and stuff and upgrading my flask. But I'm going to try to beat it with level 1, preferably naked. Well, actually, I'm not sure about rings. I have to decide that. Maybe we can try without jewelry. And then, if we have trouble, if we just hit a brick wall, and we're unable to complete it, then maybe we can, like, make it less restrictive. Let's just start it with most restrictive as possible. Except I will allow myself to upgrade my club, so... Because I know for a fact... I mean, it will be technically possible, but... Probably not for me to beat with an unupgraded club. Hey, Grindrad, how's it going, man? Have you checked out Plunderstorm? Nah, I haven't. I haven't, uh, I haven't even launched retail in quite a while. Some people in chat have been sharing some pretty good things about it, though. It seems like you guys like it. Character creator face reveal? Yeah, we could do that. I think I actually have a pre-made character. For my old plays that uh, we could just use. Sinister Nemesis. What's up, man? How's it going? Uh, the 4 million number at the end of BFA Cicelrin, uh was the lowest on the graph. The highest is Classic and Shadowlands launches. Do have they, uh... Sorry, I should probably just watch the video, Celerin. I keep asking you questions, but I'm, I'm curious. 
What uh, what has Dragonflight peaked at? Do they have the uh, Dragonflight numbers? I'm curious to see how well Dragonflight has actually done. Johaman as well. Thank you for the gifted sub. We could do a react too if you guys want. We have talked about reaction content. I don't know if we should open that Pandora's box. I reacted to my own videos. <laughs> Go to my YouTube page. I reacted to episode one of Pandora. Kind of uh, just kind of commentating a little bit in more detail on, on the video and stuff. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Come on, Sailor Moon. Alright, how are we looking here? Oh, we need Sne Sneelig Snuffbox? Oh, we do need a name for this quest. Sneelig Snuffbox. Okay, we're done with Marines, we're done with Sailors, then we just need this named. Okay. First Mate Snellig. Is he... I bet you he's, un, he's in... He's under the boat, huh? Yep. Oh, no. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna send our pet in. Hopefully he'll just aggro him, which is a fat chance, but... I'm gonna send my pet in and then come back. We'll see how many we have. Oh, is it just him? No, we got two. Two is fine. We can work with two. I should have put down an immolation trap, though. Here, I'm gonna take aggro on this one in deterrence. I bet you just wing clip spamming would be a good idea too. It's I mean it's five damage per hit, right? Over the over the course of one battle. That's gonna be like maybe you know fifty to a hundred damage. Which is kind of annoying. Okay, cool. Uh hang on our inventory's full. React to other people's reaction of your videos. <laughs> there you go. It's pretty big death hub here. These are the this is the cursed first cursed pirate crew. These are all the night elves dying to Crocolis right here, these red spots. This is where people die. Uh let's try the Fen Creepers. Why no plunderstorm? Uh, I'm just more of a classic player, I guess. I'm, I'm just... Retail just really isn't for me. I I have not played retail since Shadowlands, so... It's just... That's just too much... MMO for me. I'm kind of a... So I play both sod and hardcore. Two MMOs is kind of a lot, so... I wouldn't want to do three... Just too much time investment. Uh, one sec. Okay, sorry, I was responding to a message there. Uh, I 
All right, are these things going to be here this time? They've been raiding Nomer lately. Uh, not since last time. Last time I streamed my group, uh, I think they're kind of in wind down mode until the next phase. So I can either look for another group or maybe I can pug it. But I haven't seen any sign-up sheets recently, so... Really cool heat map. Yeah, this is the Deathlog add-on if you guys are playing hardcore yourselves and you're curious. It is useful because you can kind of... Alright, you're rolling up on an area, and if you see like a bunch of red, like right here, okay, I should probably be careful. So, it is a useful add-on to have if you do play hardcore. You also get this window here so you can look at everybody die and laugh at them. Oh, there's dead fen creepers here. Damn it. It's this guy. Alright, add him to the blacklist. How dare you. Miyagi Art. Thank you, dude, for the... Thank you for the prime. Well, from what I'm hearing, people like Plunderstorm, though, which I think is cool. Uh, the most, the, the Battle Royale game I played the most was actually PUBG. I never really got into Fortnite, but I have a, a group of friends that are, like, really heavily into the Battle Royale genre, and, uh, we played a lot of PUBG and a little bit of the the Daisy mod for Arma 3. And um, that and open world kind of survival crafters too. Played a lot of. <gasps> yeah, the Murloc camps. Yeah, Murloc camps are always coated with blood. Murlocs are like the most deadly enemies in my opinion. <clears throat> Uh, Charge asks, are you going to keep your YouTube channel based on more WoW content or variety? Good question. We've actually been talking about this quite a lot recently. I have been wanting... I'll, I'll always return to WoW. I always have some sort of a love for WoW, and I have some WoW videos planned. Um, but I do want to do more variety on the channel. Uh, one of the reasons for my big break in 2021 was big, big burnout with WoW. So I want to be a little bit more protective of that this time around and I'll do uh, wild videos here and there but I want to make sure I'm taking time away from it as well to keep it fresh for me both on Twitch here and on YouTube. So uh, the next video you'll see charge on, on the channel is a Diablo 3 video. It's already finished and I should release it on Monday or Tuesday hopefully. And then uh, I think after that I'm going to do a Sekiro review. And then maybe after that I'll do a WoW video. Kind of kind of do a mix, but WoW will be something I return to uh, fairly frequently. Is, at least that's what I plan right now. Excited for the video? I think you like it, Grimmy Stakes. I think you like it. I'm very happy with it. I think it's one of my better videos, actually. And that's that's saying a lot because I have like 600 of them at this point. Any chance you play Arrow? Um, we could kind of visit it here and there, and maybe run like an AV or AB or something. But I haven't been too motivated for current because it's just. It's pretty much a done game. I already did everything on my character. I like... We uh, killed Kel'Thuzad and I got rank 14. I have all the gold that I'll ever need or want. I'm not really too interested in making alts. So... Yeah, air has been kind of... It's kind of done for me. Unless I just want to get into PvP, which... Could be a possibility, but... That kind of gets into the same thing with uh, just too much MMO for me, with since I'm playing both hardcore and sod. 
doing air as well would be kind of tough. And I'm like Mike from Breaking Bad, no half measures. When, when I play a game, I like to try to... I, I put a lot of time into it, usually not just little bits and snippets here and there. Oh, thank you, Grimmy Stakes. It's very sweet. Yeah, I beat the game. Not not totally. I, I guess the one thing I did not do was, is Scarab Lord for AQ. Get the Black Kiraji battle tank. I didn't have enough streamer prio for that in 2019. Got the hype my mount thanks to your videos yesterday. Oh, nice! That's a cool one. I really like that one. I've uh, you know, I haven't been too keen on the current version of the game. I'm very outspoken of that. But um, one of the things that I think they actually did really well in like BFA and stuff was the hidden stuff. I really, really enjoyed the hive mind uh, journey. The uh, Riddler's mind worm journey was really cool. I love that hidden stuff. I think it's very, very, uh, it works very well with MMOs. Eh. I can send you an invite to the Discord that we're using now for interested. Same group of people from Crusade signups. Oh, yeah, sure. I think, um, yeah, just, uh, I'm on the Crusade and the Crusade Discord, so. Yeah, just, uh, send me over a link and I'll, I'll join after stream. Uh, hey, we have to be, like, careful here. Watch respawns. Come on. These enemies are deadly. This is another heat map area. Oops. Not, not super bad, but there's some red in there. Because they net, as you can see. I think we should be okay because they're green, but let's still... Exercise caution here. I want to hit 30. 30 is the magical number. That's when we get feign death. I will feel much safer. How do you think Cataclasmic will be popular? Asks Deep Sea Ray. I think Cataclasmic will have a pretty popular launch, like most MMOs. But I feel like it's going to die off pretty quickly. That's my prediction. I just don't, uh, from, from what I've seen, like, on my channel and on social media, my, my Twitch page, and granted, I'm a classic Andy, so there might be some bias there, but I just don't see that much excitement for Cataclysm that I saw for, like, Vanilla and DC. Yeah, like, Wrath was, um, a lot of people say Wrath was, like, the best expansion or the most popular... And, uh, from what I'm to understand, I haven't played it, so it's hard to say, but from what I'm to understand, it's kind of dead. It kind of died out between these raid tier releases. You saw a little surge with, uh, with Old War and ICC, but it died out really quickly. Which is, that, I mean, that's kind of the nature of MMOs, but... If you're speaking, if you're asking how popular class Cataclysm will be, I think it'll be less than what Wrath is, and apparently Wrath has been kind of dead, so. I'll be surprised, that's all I'll say. I will be surprised if Cataclysm is, like, wildly popular. Do you guys think that they will do a mop classic after Kata? Or like, how far will they go? I'll ask you that question. How far will they go with classic after Kata? Or do you think Kata is the end, maybe? 
Ooh, there's a chest. You guys think mop? I think because they did Cataclysm, they'll probably do mop. But, I mean, remember the expansion after mop, it's Draenor. <laughs> Which doesn't have the greatest reputation, so... That remains to be seen. But if they do Draenor, then they'll have to do Legion for sure. I, I think a lot of people... I was surprised that they did Cataclysm. Um, but they they did, and I mean, uh, the BlizzCon, they announced it, people didn't really seem too uh, excited about it. Remember they had a Cataclysm panel, or presentation rather, and uh, a Saad presentation. There's a lot of excitement for Saad, but whenever, like for the whole Cataclysm presentation, it was all crickets. I was getting the Diablo Immortal vibes. I was getting ready for them to ask if we had phones or not. Wads well, when you quit retail, says Mafia. Yeah, a lot of people quit during Wad. I played all of Wad. And the reason for that is because that's when I made my YouTube channel. I feel like if I did not make my YouTube channel to kind of keep myself entertained, I probably would have quit Draenor pretty early. But now I did actually play all of Draenor. Draenor being bad is the reason why we're talking right now. If Draenor was a good expansion, I don't think I ever would have made my YouTube channel. So I say all the time that uh, Draenor is my favorite expansion because of that. Because it led to my YouTube channel. Yeah, the raids in, in uh, Draenor we're good. The only issue is that there's only three of them. I guess High Mount would be the weakest of the three, but Blackrock Foundry and Hellfire Citadel were great. But, uh... So, Blizzard has always been against player housing. Um... In the game, for a variety of reasons, and whenever they would respond to people wanting player housing they said that they would have it would take so much work that they would have to ab an abandon an entire raid tier so as an easter egg maybe as a joke or maybe maybe it's maybe more than a joke if you look in the graveyard of the alliance and horde garrison you'll see a uh, a grave marked ray d tier Alluding to the fact that because of Garrison's Warlords of Draenor had one less raid tier. And uh, there's also some uh, alpha screenshots that they had planned to have a raid in the Shatrath bubble in uh, Talador. But presumably because of Garrison's they scrapped it. That's one of the reasons why why Draenor was, is not seen as a very good expansion. There's just a lot of cut content. You had, um... You had, uh... Entire islands. Uh, Fer Was it Feralon? Feralor? Feralon, I believe. Off the coast of Gorgrand. That was supposed to be an area. High Mall was supposed to be an actual zone as well. With, like, uh, ogres and stuff and quests related to ogres. Uh, you were supposed to be able... So, initially they were going to do no flying at all in Draenor, even at max level, even at level 100. They eventually caved in because the four people who were left playing threatened to quit if they didn't add flying. But their initial plan was to uh, have the Grimrill Depot as a means of transportation for Draenor. It was supposed to connect to every zone somehow, and that's how you would get around. It wasn't flying mounts until uh, they caved in from pressure from the community. Uh, you're supposed to be able to select where you could put your garrison. It wasn't just Frostfire for Horde and Shadow Moon for the Alliance. If you fly around in Draenor, you can find areas in every zone, like Nagrand and whatever, that 
were set aside to be garrison locations that got scrapped. The Zanger Sea was supposed to be a zone, kind of similar to uh, what, what was the underwater zone in Cataclysm? It's not Vashir, right? Because that was that was the BFA one. Whatever the underwater zone in Cataclysm was, that the Zanger Sea was apparently supposed to be like that. There's lots of lore elements that were scrapped. Medivh was supposed to make an appearance. There's an old cutscene in the Alpha. Oh, Vashir? Was it Vashir? What was the BFA one, though, that released with, like, Mechagon? Or it was, like, Nazjatar was BFA. Okay, thank you, Lucerna. You're right. You got it. Uh, Gorhaul was supposed to be the Legion's legendary. Or the expansion's legendary, I meant to say. I think either the ring replaced it or was supposed to be there with the ring quest chain, if you guys remember that. The legendary ring quest chain in Draenor. Gorhal was data mined. Actually, the entire story was supposed to be different. Because they abandoned the Shatrath raid, uh, I think Hellscream, Grom Hellscream was supposed to be your ally. But you ended up fighting him. And that, for some reason, that's due to uh, them abandoning a raid tier. There's supposed to be major cities. In Shadowmoon Valley, you have the Temple of Karabor. That was supposed to be the Alliance City. And in Frostfire Ridge, there's this giant compound for the Horde that just ended up being a questing area. That was supposed to be a city, but they scrapped that. And they just uh, moved the, quote, cities to Ashran. Those little, those little hubs outside the Ashran PvP zone. They just kind of threw some portals there and some profession trainers and says yeah this is your city so I uh, saying all this though I've said before if they kind of wanted to redeem more Lords of Draenor classic would be the best opportunity for that like they could put in these abandoned features right it would take a lot of development resources but you know, in 2020X, 20, 20 2028 or when, whenever they would get to Draenor, it would be an opportunity for them to release Draenor how it was intended and maybe redeem the expansion a little bit. That is if they get that far, though, so... We shall see... We'll see if they do Pandaria after Kata. And after Pandaria, Draenor. One of my very earliest videos that did really well on YouTube was actually... Things that didn't make it to Draenor expansion, if you search that on YouTube. For some reason that video hit the algorithm and it went crazy. My very, I, I don't, I do not attest for the quality of it though, just to let you know, it's a very early video of mine, so I'm sure it's pretty rough shot. All right, we just need one more of these. Come here, mofo. We'll never die in this game. Never, okay? We we're professionals. Wait, do we get it? Oh no. Sorry, I'm brain farting now. Yeah, I'm really excited. Really excited. Oh god, what are you, what are you doing? Go die over there. Away from me. Do not aggro me. Uh, yeah, I'm really excited for YouTube and Twitch. A lot of, a lot of content for you guys coming up. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you for being patient with me. Certainly appreciate that. How'd you run past my trap?
This guy's hacking. Here, come on, come up here because I don't want you to run away. But the voice isn't even monotone. Maybe not, I, I don't know. I feel like uh, in my early years of YouTube, I may have been more self-conscious about my voice and maybe kind of, right, overcompensated for that. It took a, it took a decent bit for me to, uh, to become fully comfortable speaking in my demeanor. Here, come on. This last banner is very elusive. Is there any other uh, From Software titles coming out other than the Elden Ring DLC? Because uh, speaking on variety here, we're going to be doing Elden Ring next, like I said. But... Um, I would like to kind of line up... Well, actually, no, we're not really... We're not really missing out on much. Or we're not, we're not lacking From Software games to play. Uh, I have not beaten Dark Souls 3 nor Bloodborne, now that I think about it, so... Or Armored Core as well, Armored Core 6 specifically. We can go really old school and do Kingsfield games. Or Shadow Tower, not sure if you guys are prepared for that. Everyone is at first. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty common, I feel social media or if you're making videos or streaming you're gonna be a little bit kind of uncomfortable it's kind of like the first time you have sex theoretically here come on oh you're netted here i don't want to fight out there because there might be patrols or something eh. Ooh, i love that wing clip All right, still going for this elusive eighth banner. Come on. Sometimes they'll put uh, your old videos on just to rehear the lore in your voice. <laughs> you have quite the library. Sometimes it's it's crazy to think how many videos I've made over the years. Ten years. Uh, in November of this year will be my YouTube ten year anniversary, I believe. I I created the channel in November of 2014. We should do something special. What should we do for our ten year anniversary on YouTube? Maybe the next episode of Evolution of WoW. <laughs> I'll finally do the Wrath episode. Quit for two years? There you go. Yeah, let's do that. Let's quit for two years. <laughs> I like that. Pandora's Box Mad Season Show. Actually, good idea. Might be too parasocial, though. Might be too personal. We could do a Pandora's Box of a Life. Might be kind of boring, though. Make a video about making videos. That would be kind of cool, too, right? I've talked about that before. There's a lot of... There's a lot of interest in the uh, the background process of making videos. Maybe I could make a video series that would inspire people to make their own channels, right? I think that would be a, a very, a very uh, important series to make. Yeah, maybe I'll do like. 
We'll do one of those YouTuber documentaries, except it'll be about myself. And in 2021, he made an announcement that shocked the world of Warcraft. Ten years and zero apology video. How does he do it? <laughs> Don't, hang on, we're not we're not quite there yet. Okay, let's not jinx ourselves. We're not quite there yet. The real answer is to be unapologetic. That's the true answer. Uh, how many of these do we need? I'm debating if this is worth it or not. Okay, well. Now we're too deep, so I have the sunk cost fallacy. Uh, still enough people playing hardcore for dungeon runs. Ask Zips. Uh, let's see. We'll do... I'm like 30, right? I'm 29. So we'll do who... 25 to 35. Yeah, it looks like it. Um... I'm a solo self-found character, so I probably won't be doing any dungeons unless I want to try to solo them, <laughs> which would be crazy. But uh, from 25 to 35, we capped out at 50. How about, let's restrict it a little bit more. Let's do 26 to 34. Still 50. Let's do 27 to 33. Still 50. Wow, I'm actually surprised by this. 28 to 32. So not, not completely dead. The population is on low on the, on the character select screen. But as you can see, there's a lot of levelers. 29 to 31. Wow. Still, still 50. Let's do level 30. Okay, level. There's 20 level 30s right now. Yeah, I would, I would say you could still uh, find dungeon groups pretty easily. Dirt Nasty Dave, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Oh, we have an intro shout out redemption. Are Are you saying you want me to say? Okay, I'll do both just in case. Hey, Big Red Sloth, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another stream for you. Hey, J Dog 2019 one, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another stream for you. Boom. Thank you, Big, Big Red Sloth. So, no, hardcore is still going. There was an AQ raid earlier. See if that's no. It's it looks like uh, the AQ raid is over, but there was a forty man AQ raid going on here on a line side. The uh, the guild hardcore elite was running it. So, Captain Falcon, thank you for the uh, prime. I certainly appreciate that. And Big Red Sloth with the four twenty bits. Thank you, man. Thank you for the support. Uh, Winfried asks a question that burns on my mind uh, the past few days. Uh, what's better, a server in your time zone or a high population server? Um, I guess for me it would kind of depend on how populated that server is, I would say. And how low populated your time zone server is. Like if you're in, if if you can't ever like find a guild to raid or something, I would definitely say the populated server. Two servers which one are we playing on? Oh, I'm on Pillager Reroller. Pillar, uh, I cannot say. Skullrock. Skullrock used to... The, the last time I played hardcore, Skullrock was not looking good. So, I'm not sure if it if it rebounded 
since then or if it's gotten worse but it seems like at least alliance pillager is is doing it's doing all right beaver queen asks if there are fresh vanilla would you play it like vanilla vanilla yeah i think so i think i would just it, for the launch if nothing else i think mmo launches are always super super fun even if the mmo ends up being like pretty bad like i had fun with the new world launch I had fun with the Lost Ark launch, even though I don't really care for those games. I still had fun on the launch, so I always like playing MMO launches. What's up with Skullrock? Skullrock, well, it used to be like this. I have no idea what it is today, but pill kind of the Alliance population congregated to Pillager, and uh, Horde congregated to Skullrock. And Skullrack died first. For what reason, you may ask? Well, my personal theory, order bad at video games, okay? And hardcore mode is a version of the game that's hardcore. So therefore, only the most hardcore apply. So is it any wonder that the Alliance server today is still thriving and the Horde server is dead? It's because they're bad at video games, okay? Yeah, this is why. They're just bad at video games, you guys, alright? Okay. Four... No, nine more. What the hell's wrong with my math? Nine more Fen Creepers. Uh, but no, I would, I would play Vanilla Launch. Yeah, absolutely. I might have to, like, drop Sod or Hardcore, though. Because, I mean, again, it's just... There's so much MMO, right? I barely have enough time to play uh, what's out right now, so... I would say if Vanilla Vanilla were to launch, I would play it pretty casually, and... If I raided, it would probably only be Pug Raids. I wouldn't join like a raiding guild or anything with a strict schedule. And I'd, I'd probably do some Battlegrounds here and there, but it wouldn't be... I wouldn't, like, take it super seriously. Which would you give up? I don't know, because they're so different. Sod and Hardcore are so different. Maybe I would just kind of... Maybe I would place Sod on new phase releases. And then when things wind down with Sod, I'd kind of go to Hardcore. So maybe I would half quit both or something. I don't know. That's a tough call, because I like both for their own reasons. Uh, Grimmy asks, how are you enjoying Sod? I like Sod. Sod's pretty fun. It's, it's, it has the classic vanilla feel, but it's still different enough to warrant existing. And, uh, I like the spice with, like, the runes and stuff, and I like the fact that each phase is split up between different level ranges. So, like, this kind of interesting, unique endgame meta is formed with each phase. Like, as far as PvE is concerned, PvP is concerned, is interesting. I like it. Okay, I, we need to visit a major city to clear our inventory space, because we can't even, like, gather right now without destroying a bunch of crap. Um, actually... Let's just kill as many Fen Creepers as we can on our way back to town here. I'll try to get Tin Veins if I see them too. Um, I think we might ding once we turn in here in town. And then we can head to Iron Forge and then we can train, finally get Fain Death. And we'll be golden. And Dweller. And Lord, I don't need those. I'm getting off track here. Maybe we can check out this rare vendor too. Carry on Skull Rock. So we do have our uh, undead priest on Skull Rock. We could like join a raiding guild or something. If they're desperate enough to have a freshly dinged 60 with absolutely all questing gear, no dungeon gear. Hey, what's up, cutie Chen?
That might be some entertaining content. I mean, I'm not... I haven't touched my priest since I dinged 60, so... It wouldn't really be a bad thing if it died, I guess, because... It's not getting used anyway. Making a special purchase? I might get Survivor's Guilt, though. I still, I'm still feeling a little bit Survivor's Guilt from that ZF run that went bad. I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to be a healer in hardcore mode, because, like, if you... Okay, getting yourself killed, that's one thing, but... Getting somebody else killed because... You're you're not paying attention, or you you're misplaying, or you're bad. Of course, which I'm not. But in case I lag again, right? I disconnect during a dungeon group, and the tank dies because of that. That I I don't know. That's just that that's that's too much stress for me. That's an that's an amount of stress to where it's like not fun. Slee stack. Thank you for the tier two for. Oh, three months in advance. Oh my god. Sleestack, thank you, man. Guys, I'd like to announce a three-month break from streaming. <laughs> my social battery is drained. All right, we have a lot of talk about this in social media recently. I'm just so drained doing these streams, and I got a, yeah, three-month break. No, thank you, Sleestack. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll try to stream more for you guys. I feel uh, I feel a bit bad. I've I've been pretty inconsistent in the streaming realm. Saying that though, I will not be streaming tomorrow. So just so you know, okay. But I got some real life stuff going on. All right. I'm sorry. I have a life, you know. Don't have enough time to play video games. Pretty important person. All right, where's this stealther? Wait, do we train track hidden? I wonder. No, not yet. We have to fix that once we hit town. We do not have track hidden right now. Hardcore Realm single player now. now there's We uh, did some slash hooing drive. There's uh, actually a pretty decent amount of people playing. This character you see though is pretty much solo. Because I'm doing the uh, the anti-social solo self-found challenge. But that's, that's self-imposed. Not everybody's doing that. Uh, hopefully Monday or Tuesday, Grimmy. It depends on what uh, what the sponsor says. I have to make sure I'm doing the sponsor right. But then it's then it'll be ready for you guys. Um, if you guys are impatient. It is available now for YouTube members and Patreon members. YouTube members get early access to videos. Um, you may be saying, oh my god, Mad Season, you sell out. This is a microtransaction. That's pretty hypocritical of you. You always complain about microtransactions, and here you are with microtransactions on your channel. And while I, I will say, okay, that is a very valid point. Um, I never said that I was against microtransactions that benefit me personally, okay? Those microtransactions I am fine with, so, yeah. So don't, don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. Uh, I have actually gotten some comments on that, but, I mean, I feel like there, there is a, there is a definite difference between multi-billion dollar triple-a video game developer and independent currently one-man team monotone man uh trying his uh damnedest to both stream and to make videos and act and also leave the house too there there is a notable difference to that so i feel like i deserve a little bit of leeway all right a little bit of leeway on that one all right I may be a little bit biased, but I think that is true. Oh, oh, that's okay. Oof. I've been playing so on PvP servers so long, any, any freaking uh, stealth sound effect sets me off. Uh, 
Um, but no, I'm, I mean, there are a lot of channels out there I support. I'm a, I'm a patron of a few channels, I think. I'm a patron of Platinum WoW, I thought. Hazel, I was. I'm, I'm subbed to a bunch of people here on Twitch. I'm subbed to Kevin what Jordan, okay. I'm subbed to uh, Savix. I'm subbed to, uh, I believe, Peo. I have to check. Oh, don't worry about it. I, I, I do my part. Uh, damn it, we didn't think. Oh no, we have another turn in. Ah, poop. Did I overestimate this quest XP? I think I did. Now we're gonna have to go back out in the world again. Well, actually, let's just do this. We have some turn ins here. I think maybe this will be enough. Yeah, I vastly overestimated the amount of XP I would get. So now he wants me to go... Well, maybe we can just do this one. The Intrepid Strongbox Ski. We can give another shot at the Creepers. Yeah, let's just... Okay, let's head back north. And we'll set our hearth... To here. So we can just hearth back. You got my attention. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. How old are you? I'm 29. I have uh, I have 20 talent points at my disposal, but they're all into depression. Looking to respec here soon, but I can't quite afford it. Subscribe, by the way. It's <laughs> a low investment return, and Kevin he hasn't streamed forever. I I will remain subscribed to Kevin Jordan until my credit card expires because he is uh, one of the original developers of WoW. I feel like I... I don't know. Not that I owe it to him, but I have no problem being subscribed to Kevin Jordan until the end of time, if, even if he streams like one time a year. He's uh, He still streams, but he's... Uh, he, well, he's a video game developer. He's been working on a a, uh, a project, I believe. So, yeah, I will I will stay sub to Kevin Jordan forever, five ever, as a matter of fact. There's actually a lot of people who stayed sub to me um, during my big absence there, my two year absence. There's there's some people on Twitch here. You'll see them. Every now and then, Kevin was one, Jedzy is one. Off the top of my head, who all stayed sub to me for like two years without a stream, which is crazy. Appreciate it. I'll try to pay it back. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Uh, wait, wrong way, right? Oh, actually, this is fine because we can kill the creepers here and then we'll head north. Planned. Yeah, there you go. There's Kevin. Speak of the devil. Was the final talent in the depression tree? Oh god. I think it's uh you start making videos about World of Warcraft with your free time, probably. Yeah, that's your uh that's your 40 point talent right there. Grimmy Stakes, thank you for the prime. Appreciate it. Shoutouts to you. Virginity buff? No, actually, virginity is one of these. It's a prerequisite. To make WoW videos, you have to have a point invested into virginity. Okay? Very important.
Um, well, let's hit 30. Let's hit 30. I was thinking of maybe playing a little bit of that Elden Ring goodness. I, uh, well, I need to edit my Sekiro video tonight. So I, saying all of this, I can't stream for super, super long. But I did want to start an Elden Ring challenge run. We are going to be trying to defeat Elden Ring as a naked level 1 wretch, believe it or not. And it's probably going to be a giant catastrophe, but I'm going to enjoy myself. So I think maybe I'll start that tonight since I'm not playing Dragon's Dogma anymore. I ran out of money to play Dragon's Dogma. I bought everything in the cash shop and I still have not been able to beat the game, so... We're gonna try uh, Elden Ring here. Uh, it was um, hey, what's up, Kogo? Uh, it was too early for me to say. For Dragon's Dogma, uh, honestly, I uh, I didn't get enough gameplay to determine if I liked it or not, but. Um, so one of the main, well, one of the main reasons to play it was that I just wanted to play it, but I kind of, I've been having issues with performance. I loaded that crap up on my streaming computer, which is, look at my specs down below for my streaming computer. I should not be lagging playing Dragon's Dogma 2, I'm sorry. So, uh, the purchase has been refunded until they can sort their stuff out. I could very well like review, I, and I'm not saying Dragon's Dogma 2 is bad, it's too early for me to say and I didn't get enough game time with it, but I don't want to play a, a game that I think will be bad right now. I want to play a game I want to enjoy, and I know for a fact I'm going to uh, enjoy Elden Ring. So, yeah, it's more, it's more kind of tied into my uh, me wanting to do some video game reviews and uh, I said earlier that actually reviews of bad games can be more entertaining than reviews of good games but I want to start with reviewing the games I like I think instead of going straight for the bad ones again not saying Dragon Stockman 2 is bad but I just I don't know if I'll like it or not and that it's a very long game from what I can tell so it's a pretty big investment The state of development is kind of bad, not the game per se. So it's what kind of feeling. Yeah, I mean, a lot of the criticism doesn't really come from the game itself, from from what I hear. It's more of like the microtransactions, the performance issues, all of all of the kind of surrounding stuff around the game. But I think people are actually liking the the game once they get into it. Boom, baby. Okay, let's just hearth. And second point into improved feign death, because we're going to train that now. Level 30, you guys. This is pretty important. Because we get feign death. This is free life. As, you know, unless they resist, which I'm... Hopefully this talent point prevents that from happening. This is get out of jail free card territory, so we're gonna we're gonna do that right now. We've uh, still haven't even eaten up all of our rested, so we're th uh, thirty. Does that open up STV now? Uh, not quite yet. They're a little bit orange right now, and it says apparently we can't get the the critter quests according to my questy. Um. Why is this so bright? Is the map like unusually bright for you guys right now? What the hell? I'm getting flash banged right now. Well, we can do, we still have uh, this to do. We have Northern Wetlands to do. And we have a little bit of South Shore. Um, a lot of South Shore actually, according to my map. And what about Desolus? Desolus has started to open up a little bit. Still got some orange stuff here, though. 
We'll we'll probably be able to scrape together some quests. Oh, Ashenville, I bet you. Yeah, I got some quests in Ashenville here too. We'll be able to scrape together some quests to uh, get us to STV. Like the whole game is bright. What's with that? Is this like a bug or something? How strange. Jump into the lava in Ironforge. Intrusive thoughts. Oh god. Yeah, hardcore is cool. I want to do more hardcore in the future. I've been kind of neglecting it ever since Sod came out. We're going to fix that. We have... So, like I said, we're about to do a uh, Elden Ring challenge run. We're going to try to beat the game as a level 1 wretch. I am no stranger to challenges. You're looking at the melee-only hunter. And uh, some other ones I was thinking of. Let me know what you think of this for hardcore mode. Red Paladin with an NES controller. Warrior that's only allowed to use unarmed slash fist weapons. Rogue that cannot spend any money. The penny pincher is what I'm going to call him. So you can't train, you can't travel on griffins, you can't respec, you can't train weapon skills, you can't train any abilities. Um, a mage that's only allowed to use arcane spells. Okay. We already did priests. And Priest was just a normal run. We didn't do a challenge for Priest, but I, I kind of just wanted to hit 60 in Hardcore so people can think I'm good at video games first before I start doing challenges. So the Hunter is going to be melee only, but yeah, those other ones. I think we did Boomkin, or we did um, Arcane Spells only Druid. So Wrath only Druid, no, no Kitty form. Or maybe we did like Human form only Druid. I forget what we came up with Druid. I think Warlock was Fire Spell only Warlock, uh, with an exception that we can summon the Imp, which is technically a demonology spell, but he uses Fireball, so I'm counting that. Oh, first person view. Actually, we're we're gonna do Warriors first person view. I guess that one changed to the Knuckle Duster, the Brawler view, or um, the Brawler challenge. We 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 can do. Uh, well, I feel like the first person view should maybe be a melee class. I don't know. Because that's what I played in Morrowind. I played like the, the dagger wielder melee class in Morrowind. Yeah, first person only would be very tricky. I feel like a ranged class would be far easier. Okay, let's train. So obviously we don't want Aspect of the Hawk. It's ranged AP, which is useless to us. Ooh, Scare Beast though, for sure. Dual wield, we'll train it. In case we find good one-handers. Yeah, I'll see all of this, like rapid fire, don't need that. Anything in the marksmanship tree is worthless to me. Okay, track hidden, we want it that. Mongoose Bite? I guess we have that macroed, though we hardly ever use it. Bane Death we want. We'll do that, and I'll hold on to Track Elementals for now, just to kind of save some money. So, new Scare Beast. The good thing about this challenge, I'll say, very easy on Bag Space, or Bar Space, I meant to say. You do not need an MMO mouse for this challenge. Hey, Marsh Mixo. I'm doing good. How are you doing? Thank you for asking. Alright, Feign Death. Let's just put this on here. Oh, shit! Oh, my God. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, get used to that. I'm going to do that to you guys a lot. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna do that a lot. We did that a lot on our other hunter. There's just a little bit of a drop. Right, we did uh so um Do you know the Lincoln quest, right? The Lincoln quest chain. I'll show you how much of a little shit I am. There's a there's a part of the quest that requires you to drink the Vidir elixir, which kill normally it kills you. 
and it turns you into a ghost, then you talk to an NPC in the northern mountains here. They've changed this quest for hardcore mode to not kill you. Um, but when I did this on my other hunter, I pretended to like not know that. And then I feigned death as I drank it, and everybody was freaking out. Oh my god, how could you? It was amazing. I got everybody. It was amazing. I loved it so much. Same gamer. Thank you for the prime. Yeah, we're going to debate everybody. Uh, bank is what I wanted to do. Ooh, we're actually out of banks. Can we buy, uh... Oh, 10 gold. Are you kidding me? Remember, we cannot use the auction house, so I cannot go buy a bag. Shoot. Well, I, I guess I could get one. No, I have one. I can buy them from the vendor. Oh, this is a six slaughter. We can get two more slots by doing this. Uh, that and that. Uh, I should probably, like, work on my professions to clear this all up. Is there anything else we could just kind of stack in here? We only have one target dummy, too. Okay. We'll have to fix that. Oh, this is the guild that was doing AQ earlier. No, it was HC Elite. Never mind. Yeah, this one. This one. This guy was probably in that AQ run. Hey, Nostalus. Haven't tuned in for a while. Your mic sounds very crispy. Really? I think I probably added like a uh, a filter to it. I probably what you're hearing is probably I removed the background noise. Uh, Stream Streamlabs has a uh, filter that lets you remove background noise. Guys, so we just hit level thirty on this guy, the melee hunter challenge in hardcore mode. We will continue this. However, I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break here from the wowness and uh, load up some Elden Ring. I'm doing a challenge in Elden Ring. Like I said, I'm going to try to beat the entire game as a level one wretch. Wanted to start that challenge today. Let me find the controller here and we're going to go ahead and switch it up. And play a little bit of Elden Ring. Just a little bit because I have some editing I'd like to do tonight. But I want to get the character created and kind of get him ready, right? Get this, get this thing started. So uh, let me load up Steam here. <gasps> Excuse me. I did have it installed. I just have to. Um... Oh, it's gonna do the initial launch thing. Okay. Hang on, let me get it launched first before I switch over because it might do the, the initial installation. Easy anti cheat. This game has anti cheat. I guess for the multi the PvP. I have never ever had a good experience with souls from software PvP. So we will not be doing that in our run, at least not willingly. We might get invaded. I forget how the invasion works in this game, but yeah, I'm, I'm not, I've never enjoyed PvP in From Software. It's always a horrible experience. Okay. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and switch this real quick. We're going to be hearing sound effects. I'm, we're going to have to do the initial tuning and stuff, so. Elden Ring. This sounds like the Ark intro music. You guys ever play Ark, the dinosaur survival game? It sounds very similar. Wait, what? 
This title may conflict with Twitch's moderation policy. It won't let me set this title because it has the word naked in it. Nude? <laughs> Clothless? What should I say? Nude? Nope, nude. You can't do nude. What if I do hot tub level one wretch? Uh, I'll just say level one wretch, but I'm gonna be naked uh, in in game. By the way, okay, Elden Ring. Sorry, I probably should have set this up before, but I'm lazy. I'm kind of lazy, so Elden Ring. I'm setting up the thing right now. Sorry about the black screen here. Um, game capture, right? At least you guys get the music while I fumble trying to set this up. Game capture. Add source. New source. Elden Ring. So I, I will say it's been a very long time since I played this, okay? Yes. Okay. Let's do audio check. I feel like this music is too loud. Music, here we go. We'll do master volume down a bit. I'll do music down more. We'll be using the game cat. Alright. Well, welcome one and all. We have something special for you here today. I have not beat... I have played Elden Ring in the past, however, I've not beaten it. I have a, uh, as you can see, a variety of characters. This is my most progressed one right here. However, I uh, had to step away from the game. And... Um... I stepped away long enough to where, like, I don't really want to play this character anymore. I forget what he's doing, what build he has. I'd rather just start from fresh. But to add a little bit of spice to the playthrough here, we are going to do a bit of a challenge. We are going to be naked in-game by playing the Wretch. This is kind of a... This is a, a staple of Souls-like games. There's a... Out of all these character archetypes, you have a naked wretch. It's meant for challenge runs. We're going to try to beat all of Elden Ring as a naked level 1 wretch. I'm going to start this challenge as restrictive as possible, meaning I'm not going to have like any jewelry equipped. Um, and I won't be using any items. Summons are, are out of the question for this. I have to go through the entire game. As a naked level 1 wretch, I'm allowed to upgrade my weapon, I'm allowed to upgrade my flasks. Um, I think I have, uh, can I load my, my, uh, thing? Detailed appearance, load favorite. I already have myself created in this game. This is what I actually look like in real life right now. Name. Monotone madness. Age, we are young, at least in spirit. We're a wretch and oh, keepsake. Uh, golden seed is what I want. This is a flask upgrade. Why would you not choose the golden seed? It's like in Dark Souls 1. Why would you not choose the key, the master key that like unlocks 90% of the doors in the game? It's ridiculous. Okay, you guys ready? Let's see if this is possible. This is going to be a long journey. There's going to be a lot of deaths, okay? And so it begins. I'm going to not skip the cutscenes and I'll I'll let you guys watch them. The story of this game is actually pretty interesting. Like many from software games, I'll shut up during the cutscene. The fallen Tell a story.
I love From Software games so much. I have to beat this game. The goal is to beat it before DLC. Elden Ring was shattered in our home across the fog, the lands between. This guy's so monotone. He really needs to put life into his voice, I think. America the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, America's offspring, demigods all. Isn't that, uh. claimed the Shah? Right there, I'll, never mind, I'll say it after. Elden Ring. I don't interrupt this. The mad taint of their newfound strength. Ooh. The shattering. That's my fetish, actually. Oh, God. It's a Rochimaru. Believe it. From which no lord. A war leading to abandonment. We got that guy. By the greater. The last time we were here, Radon, I believe his name is. We did not fight Melania, who I hear is. Rise now. Oh, he's getting hyped. Ye tarnished. Ye dead. Who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. We're going to die a lot. Horalu, chieftain of the Badlands. The ever brilliant gold mask. Fear, the deathbed companion. Hot. The loathsome dung eater. And Sir Gideon Ophnia, the all-knowing. Yeah, I want whatever these artists were on. You could say that for our for the entire plot of Dark Souls games, for that matter. And one other, whom Grace would again bless. An ex World of Warcraft player. Tarnished of no renown. That's not true. I have 650 videos fall. about WoW. How dare you? To the lands between. My renown is endless. To stand before the Elden Ring. And become the Elden Lord. It may take us like 600 hours, but we're totally going to do that, okay? Um, speaking of which, we need to uh, try to determine, like, are we going to defeat every boss as a naked level 1 wretch? Or, um... Oh god, I gotta remember the controls of this. What's, uh... Oops. That was very loud. So heavy attack. That changes when you have, yeah, the rage mode. Light attack. Jumping attack. This is the greatest, um, the greatest improvement over the Soul series as far as I'm concerned. They got this from Sekiro, okay? If you hit jump, you jump. There's no running, getting a burst of speed, and then mashing the sprint button to get a jump. No, you jump. You jump. It's uh, that simple. How do I do? Because uh, that's items. This is how you switch. Yeah, we're uh, two hand. I'm fumbling with how to two hand my weapon. Oh god. Oops. And it's uh, my uh, my buttons are defaulting to the Xbox buttons as well. So that's. 
gonna take some getting used to. Do you guys remember how to two-hand? Do they have a tutorial here on how to two-hand? Read message. Try jumping. Something incredible. Hold down switch weapon. I don't think it's that. Y plus R1. Ah, ah, that's right. Okay, there we go. Wow, I'm okay, so I'm gonna be so incredibly rusty with this. Um, just so you guys know, okay? If you make fun of me, I will ban you, alright? I will ban you. So, we do have a boss coming up here. You're meant to die against him, but of course, being exceptionally skilled, I will defeat him easily. I have actually beaten this boss before, okay? It's on my YouTube channel. Search Bad Season Show. Oh, we have stamina in this game too. Oh god, I, this is, yeah, we're gonna die a lot in this game. I'm gonna be so rusty. Eh. <laughs> okay. I'm in Sekiro, Sekiro mode too here, so we gotta kinda transition. Ow. Okay, we died. <laughs> <laughs> this will be possible. You're gonna have to give me a little bit, okay? A little bit to de rest here, alright? Uh. I actually have a tutorial on how to kill that boss on my Bad Season Show channel, but clearly I forgot. Oh, also as well, um, so my plan is the only weapon I'm allowed to use is the club. I may allow myself to use the buckler as well, which is like the parrying shield. You get it after Margaret. Uh, I have yet to decide if I'm allowed to do that or not, because at that point it's maybe it's not a ret run. But I do like to parry in these games, so... Yeah. Oh hey, it's Roach. Don't worry, Torrent. Fortune is on his side. We found him here, after all. Now those are only death. We're not going to die a single time now for the rest of the game. I just wanted to get it out of the way, you know. Uh, Wiz, thank you for the One prime. One of man. his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Sir, watching Even Shogun yet? Violate the golden order. I have not. There's not a huge amount of cutscenes in this game. Usually just in the beginning here, as a standard with Souls-like games. Most of the story in this game is delivered through uh, item descriptions and the atmosphere, if I remember correctly. So I'm not sure if I, I might allow myself to use the buckler. Okay, now we got her heal. Uh, we're, we don't need a tutorial. Wait, actually, we might try to kill every boss, and there's a boss in the tutorial, so I guess we should do the tutorial. Die to the tutorial boss, probably. But right now, we're just going to have to two-hand it. We're going to skip all these tutorials. I know how to play video games. Game of Thrones meets uh, 1600 Japan. Super good so far. You're the first episode to watch on Hulu. Maybe. I mean, I've been, I've been on that Sekiro kick, right? So that might be right up my alley. Oh my god! I just hang on. I just uh, speaking of on Sekiro kick, I just tried to retrieve my currency by holding down s square, just like in Sekiro. Guarding where we're going. We don't need guarding. 
Oh. I guess I can't really complain about tutorial mem menus popping up in the tutorial zone. Okay, these, yeah, there's actual crafting in this game. That's another big difference here with Elden Ring is that can actually make stuff, consumables and whatnot. I don't think I'll I'll be doing that though. Enemies also have stamina, so you can just punch straight through their defenses. The uh, club is a pretty poopy weapon. One of its positives, though, is that it has a lot of stagger damage. So whether they be enemies or bosses. You can kind of stagger the crap out of people. Uh, some of your most effective tools for that is your jumping R2 as such, and just your long charge R2 like that. It's quite effective. And I don't really use the rage mode skill. If you hit L2, you go into rage mode, but it switches up your move set, which I don't like. So, I don't know, maybe we can make part of the challenge to kill every boss. Beating the game, like... I'm sure you could just go straight to the, the final boss some way, or, or skip most of it, right? Maybe we can try to... Um... We can try to beat every boss as well. My Sod, thank you for the Prime. This is where you res. Statues of America. Okay, we're gonna die to the first boss here. I just don't want to die to the first boss. That's what I'm scared of. Oh, God. The soldier of Godric. Alright, you bitch. Guard counters. Well, we can't guard, so... Wait, can you guard? Oh, you can, actually. Uh, okay, he wasn't too hard, actually. See, I told you guys I was going to beast at this game. Look at that, didn't even get hit once, okay? First boss down, zero death run. This is also a hardcore Elden Ring, okay? If I die, I have to delete my character, all right? So we have to beat the entire game naked without dying. Um, the first time I played Elden Ring, I, uh, I fell into the classic trap, I followed the waypoint, and I went straight to the castle, not no, not really getting that, uh, you're supposed to kind of explore this little first area first and doing all the side dungeons and whatnot. Um, yeah, I have that playthrough on, on YouTube. I went straight to the castle, and it was much harder because of that, but we still totally did it. No, the first boss doesn't count as a death, okay? Because we did not get the you died thing. It was intended to for me to die, alright? We're not counting that crap. We're still deathless. Yeah, we got this. Go for the world bosses too? Yeah, I think so. Maybe we'll try it, Funky Falcon. I I would like to try to kill every boss in the game. At least the ones that I know of. Actually, that, that does raise an interesting question. I'm sure there are, like, bosses in the story. Depending on what dialogue options you choose that allow you to fight other, some bosses, but disallow you to fight other bosses. I don't actually know about those, so I don't know. Maybe I won't be super restrictive for that. Maybe we'll just... We'll try to kill most of the bosses and beat the game. Like, this guy starts a quest. This character. And I'm sure he has bosses during his quest line that you can... That you can kill, right? Uh, we need this. 
Summoning pools. Well, we will not be using that. Let's summon other players. But since we will be playing solo, part of the the uh, limitations of this run is that we will be required to be solo. We'll not be using that. We can't even use the spirit summons. You have to actually loot the corpses too, that's right. Okay. Let's uh, get our horse first, huh? That'd probably be business, order of business number one here. Well, I feel like the frame rate maybe isn't the greatest right now. Know, maybe I should be on my streaming computer. Are you going to play the DLC? Yeah, we, I. one of the reasons why I'm playing this is to actually beat the game before the DLC comes out, so... Yeah, for sure. Um, we need another smithing stone, right? So I will be allowed to upgrade my club, like I said. You're a, I can also let you know this is a merchant. You can buy hints to item locations. Torch? Should we buy the torch? Are we allowed to use one? Cracked pot. Um, you, see, you see, I at least at first here, I'm going to try to not use any items as part of the challenge. Only my club. So I won't buy any of this yet. I am of selling wares as the land has been its only time. Let's say. You know, you should buy yourself a craft essential ring. The kit costs but the imp. Well, I'll buy the ca crafting kit right now, just so I can craft, but I won't craft anything. So that's kind of needed. Glad you took You've made an egg. Item crafting. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, I also killed this boss as a naked level 1 ranch. This, uh, that mounted guy. I definitely can't do that right now, though. I'm gonna probably get destroyed. Uh, what I want to get right now, though, is my horsey, because it'll make traversing the land much easier. And to do that, we must go over... I want to be sneaky, too. You can be sneaky in this game. Oh, check out, um, Bad Season Show. Null me. I... I think I have, uh, the one with the knife and the buckler, that one is on Mad Sea. I think I have that one unlisted. Oops. Damn it. I'm, s I'm still stuck in Sekiro mode here. But I do have one of the wretch on Bad Season Show. Ugh, right in the mouth. Oh, you break those, that's right. You run over them with your horse and they give you items. Uh, I hear a glowy. Is this a bug? Yeah. Uh, I forget what these do. Let's kill it. Teardrop Scarabs. Oh, they replenish your flask. That's right. So you don't have to go rest. Um, let's rest at this bonfire here. Or, uh, Light of Grace, I guess they're called. Cheese Sesh, thank you for the prime. Ooh, actually, hang on. I have to get my Twitch alerts up here. So I don't miss this. One sec, we're gonna switch scenes real quick to WoW. Because I have to get my alerts... Actually, let's just do this. Okay. Yeah, thank you, uh, Shizesh. Okay, 
Okay, this one, I believe, gives us our thingy, right? Our horsey horse. We have to rest here and talk to our girlfriend. And then I, I guess we'll just kind of go through um, the side areas here, maybe killing bosses and getting... Oh, crap, I skipped it. I'm sorry. Have you heard Did not... of the finger maidens? Uh, I don't know, but they sound hot. They serve the two fingers, offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. We'll just go, we'll try to uh, kill as many bosses as we can, huh? I am afraid. Are maidenless. Jesus, thank you, ma'am. I, I appreciate that, thank you. Maiden. Yeah, me too, um, we'll see. Runes into strength. We shall see. In your search for the Elden Ring. You talk very slowly and monotonely. You only take me with you. To the foot of the Erd Tree. Uh, sure. It's settled. Summon me by grace to turn. Ah, I bequeath to you this ring. Oh, you need you need her to um you level up. Has Cho treat him. But like I said, we will not be doing that. We're gonna stay at level one. So that's part of the part of the challenge here. Horseback riding. Uh, we have to equip this, right? Oh, how do I do this? I thought it was, um... I thought I usually put it on that one. Here we go. This. Remove that and put here... No. Uh, hang on, hang on. Give me a moment. Did I just, uh, put this on here, maybe? I thought I had it on up, but maybe not. Yeah, let's just do this, I guess. You beat rank 1 Melania? Nice, Arumis. Very nice. There's also certain bosses in this game that are only, um, fightable during certain times of the day. This is your first playthrough? I have not beaten this game yet, Mayu. But it's not my first playthrough. I got to Kaled, then I had to step away from it, so I, I have like a half a half run finished. So um I know some of it, but I probably know like half the game. How far is Kaled? Is Caleb like halfway through? And I was pretty completionist. I did like every mini zone and whatnot. We're just gonna look for caves. I do not know where they all are by heart for sure. Pretty impressive to try rank one without. Oh god. Uh, Deathless run over. <laughs> well, losing souls doesn't matter because we're not leveling, okay? Uh, but Aruma says, pretty impressive to try rank one without beating the game before. Some would say impressive. Others would say foolish. Okay. Actually, I think I do know where a cave is. Here. Alright, restart from scratch, you guys. Run over. There's a cave right here. Right? I'm pretty sure there's a boss in here. We could like go straight to Margit. But I feel like uh, upgrading... Upgrading my club would probably be wise. Yeah, here we go. Get some smithing stones. That's what we really want right now. I'm sure there's a place to farm them too, but I... I could not tell you where that is. Okay, I think I remember this. Ugh. Come on. 
Okay. A crackpot. Very nice. We will not, again, we won't be using that though until, uh, I'm sure I want to use items. Ow. It's I'm still learning the controls here. You'll have to give me a bit. All right, come on, smithing stones. I know that there's like a mine or something, right? There's a mine that has a bunch of smithing stones. That's what we really need to find. We also have to find like these temples that have flask upgrades. Those are going to be my biggest path to upgrades. The the temples and the mines. We have a boss here. Let's see if I remember how to fight these. One, two, three, yes. One, two, three, four. There. Come on. Nice try. One, two, and three. Oh, he has a sweet follow up. Alright, so last heal. Sweet follow up. Jump. Oh, too early. Too early. Okay, okay. This is the big one. Got it. Oh, are you dead? Did you get dominated? By a level one wretch? A, just a taste of things to come. All right, all right. Took us a little bit, but hey, not too bad. We're getting there. Uh, so we got a, um, this is a fire resist talisman. However, I'm gonna try to beat this game without any talismans or rings or whatever. Um, if it comes to a, a point where we hit a brick wall and we have to do that, we will. However, I will go as far as I can without equipping anything other than my club and maybe a buckler. Okay, so we're getting in Elden Ring mode, essentially. We're getting there. Those those guys aren't too bad. There's a few of those throughout the entire game. Buy smithing stones too. Ooh, true. Does, um, can I ask, does uh, that one vendor we ran into, does he sell them? Wait, can we fast travel in this game? I forget if you if we can fast travel. Yes, okay. Let's see if maybe he sells smithing stones or if it's a different vendor. This way tarnished. May oh. I have a word? Oh, she's going to give me the summoning bell. We'll get it, but we won't use it. A pleasure to meet I am the wit. I'd heard tell of a time, and upon looking at talk, I surmise. Thou art possessed of the power, no? She has two Call faces, if you look closely. Yes. Ah, I was in Tritorrent's former ma- Yeah. So this is the, uh, the summons. Pretty controversial item here. I remember people, uh... We're pretty upset about this, but these sprites are very, very powerful. Some would say they kind of trivialize a lot of the game. For the purposes of this playthrough, we will not be using it. Forgive mine, I doubt we shall again. How long will it for the tarnished? I hope you guys don't mind. I'm skipping the dialogue too, but yeah, I've gone through all this already. All right, can you Wait, uh? Well, you'll. Can you buy? Can you sell me smithing stones? No, it doesn't look like it. Probably a different vendor. I'm gonna buy a torch. I don't know if we need it later, but... My Dark Souls 2 instincts are kicking in. I don't know, I just kinda wanna have a torch, but we won't use it for now. 
Wait, what are these? Oh, recipes. Uh, I'll hold on to what I have. Goodbye. Um. Wait, smithing stones. Maybe that's in the central hub that we unlock. Oh, that guy has a guts of sword. Berserk reference right there. Okay. Um. Let's find the next area. We're just gonna go on boss rush and upgrade rush. I think there's a cave over here, isn't there? Oh yeah, Torn can double jump too. There's like a, a beach cave, I thought. Where am I? Yeah, it should be like right here, isn't it? And you unlock like the dragon shrine this way? Yeah, those, those churches over there. That's what has the flask upgrades. That's what I remember. So whenever we see that, we need to... We gotta grab it. Hey, Candio. Uh, it's going pretty good. How about you, man? We just started our Elden Ring run here, and we're just, uh... We're doing our challenge here. Naked level 1 wretch challenge. Beat the entire game and as many bosses as we can. That's not a boss, that's just a tough enemy. Okay, here we go, here we go. This is looking familiar now. Gonna max out your bonk? Yeah, I am allowing myself to upgrade my weapon and my flasks, but that's, that's it right now. I'm not allowed to level or equip any items. We gotta catch this thing, right? This is an invisible scarab. I, I suck at these. Got him. Ash of War, sweet. These... So if I don't... I forget how this works, so this has a skill tied to it, and I don't like it. If I can... I'm not sure if I'm gonna allow myself to change skills. Maybe, maybe we'll say no. Honestly, one of the toughest parts of this challenge is just trying to figure out what the challenge is. <laughs> I didn't really go into this with a game plan. There should be a cave entrance here. Yeah, here we go. Boss time. Coastal cave. Uh, maybe I should get like a map online that shows all of the side areas. So we could just kind of go through them one by one. Right now I'll just kind of wing it and explore, but for... Oh shit. Uh, I did not mean to sprint through this, but apparently... Oh, it's boss time. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? There's two of them! There's two of them. Uh, how did I get myself in this situation? Oh, beautiful. Jump over him. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. That's wonderful gameplay. <laughs> what the hell do I do? This is a wash right now. There's no way I get out of this alive. We gotta separate. Separate! Separate! Oh. No. Just gotta hit and run. Oh no, we're just gonna run out of health this way. I forget that stamina is, is an issue in this game. 
Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Oh wow, yeah, just keep attacking my body. This is a, a double boss, are you kidding me? Let's do this more slowly and methodically. I kind of ran in there and panicked. It's not what you want to do. We're just going to have to whittle them down one by one. Actually, you know what? I think you can only aggro one boss in that fight if you're, if you're careful. So we can do one at a time. I can't see crap. I do have a torch, but... Let's try to not use it. I think... Uh... Oh, it's so dark. Here, get the moss. If I was smart, the first thing I would do is... Um... Just go for the smithing stones. But screw that crap. I guess we're making it extra hard on ourselves. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try to just aggro one. Can we just sneak here, maybe? See, nothing's aggroed yet. Nothing's aggroed. Let's play it Sekiro mode. No death counter? Oh god, no way. I would... Death counter would just, uh... I don't even want to know. That would just demotivate me. Damn it! Panic roll. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Don't die. Damn it. Okay, we just gotta get the little ones. Okay. Get the little babbies first. Oh, you son of a... Mm. Okay, but as you can see, you can fight one at a time, so... Once we get the little babbies, then we can just focus on the main boss. Okay, this, this needs... They need to add a Sekiro-like element. I would... I'm humbly requesting the ability to revive once in Elden Ring. <laughs> In fact, let's start off by killing the bat, the babies when he's waking up. Oh, did I aggro him already? One, two, got him. Okay. Good. Okay, I think that's all of his guards now. Now we can just focus on him. Uh, ow. Oh my god, that delay gets me. You know, that's that's the issue I had with Margit. This is freaking delays. Son of a bee. That's the issue. That's the main issue I have with this game is when it's not necessarily the fast attacks. It's the slow ones where they like they raise their their weapons up in the air, and then they like wait and wait and wait, and you're like panic rolling. Yeah, that's where I start to get my uh, my uh, my shit wrecked. 
I just need to see his attacks more. Okay. It seems like you can kind of easily interrupt him too. With attacks, so maybe we should be more aggressive like this. Right? Oh, baby. Yeah, maybe that's the play after all. Be more aggressive. There we go. Slap that ass. Okay, one. Okay. Like I said, that's one of the club's greatest strengths here, is it kind of staggers them a little bit. So, let's take advantage of that, huh? Oh god, I'm naked and covered in blood. This is just like a Friday night for me. Oh god, come on, please. Can I just aggro the babbies without aggroing him, maybe? How many are there? One, two, three, four. Let's just bum rush the babbies. Okay, two. Bitch. Oh. Okay, got him. Got him, got him. Oh, there's another one. I did not see that one. Ah! Okay. Boom, baby. Okay. The double boss fights are a little scary, but we got them. We got them. Oh my gosh. Oof. So my problem there was that I was not being aggressive enough. I was being too, too passive. Sometimes you just gotta get in that ass. I told you guys it's gonna be possible, okay? You guys know me as like Mr. Boomer, World of Warcraft streamer, alright? I got the skills, alright? I can pull it out. I know we're like five minutes into the game, right? A little too early to talk trash, but you'll see. What are the rules of this run? You know what? I'll make a, um, a Twitch command next stream. But I'm still kind of trying to figure it out myself, to tell you the truth. Right now, I'm I'm uh, pretty set on staying at level 1 and not using any items on my person aside from flasks and torrent. And I may also get a buckler. I'm kind of, I'm not decided on the buckler yet. But other than that, I'm only allowed to upgrade my club. I'm only allowed to upgrade my flasks. No talismans or any armor. And I'm going to try to both beat the entire game um, like that and as many bosses as I can. I would say every boss, but I don't know. I know some bosses, like, you have to do quest chains to unlock and stuff, so I'm not sure if I can promise every boss because I, I have not yet beaten this game, so I don't know where all the bosses are and if it's even possible to defeat every boss in one run because there might be like a boss that is opened up by a quest but that same quest cuts off another boss or something so I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of this challenge but at a bare minimum I want to beat it at level 1 with while being naked in game that is
This is the dragon shrine, right? Yeah, you can learn dragon magic here. This is useless to us, though, because we're not allowed to use magic. I'm just, uh, right now, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I am just trying to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess I'm just trying to kill all the mini-bosses. I'm keeping an eye out for smithing stones. I'm keeping an eye out for flask upgrades. Uh, and just kind of unlocking fast travel everywhere that I see. Uh, let's go here. We can, uh, should we try, should we be a real boss and try, uh, this guy out here? Should we try the mounted man? I bet you I can get him. I bet you I can. Oh, my face. Phase two. I hate that stupid horse attack. That one's hard to project. Oh, damn it. Oh, you son of a... He deked me out. He got yeah, he got caught in the ledge. That threw my rhythm off. The sun was in my eyes. We can totally do that. Absolutely. We just got him to half health. Yeah, absolutely. Let's do it right now. Yeah, that one one shots. That ab that ability. <laughs> that one does one shot. See that horse one will get me every time. Okay. That horse that horse lunge definitely gets me. Yeah, see? That's the one I can't dodge. This is. I think I do want to do this. I, this is definitely doable. Definitely. It's got to be a little bit more careful. If you stay close to him, you can kind of get under him to just completely avoid some of his attacks. I would love to parry this guy, too. What if we try to do all of the bosses before we do Margit and stuff, though? Ooh, we dodged it. First time. Come on, big boy. Yeah, do that one. This one's easy to dodge, despite the fact that I died from it last time.
Come on, Stager. He's so close, I bet. There we go. Come on. No, no, no. Okay. You're watching gaming right now. You're watching peak gaming. You're watching gaming at its finest. Not too bad if I do say so myself. Hey. No problem. Pat pat on the back here. Hang on, let me let me just hook myself up. Good job, Mad Season. Good job. Oh thank you. Thank you. Poof. I told you that was possible. Not too shabby. Yeah, we can do Margaret right now, too, if we wanted to. I just don't wanna, all right? Oh, also, uh, this can uh, maybe be another challenge. So you can... I think you're actually meant to do that fight with Torrent. Um, I don't know if it makes it easier or harder, honestly, but how about we do another challenge? I'm not allowed to use Torrent in boss fights, right? We'll be on foot for all boss fights, aside from maybe Radan, who I who you might need Torrent to to defeat. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, well, I yeah, I like. Oh, there's a church there. There's a church over there. My main goal right now. Honestly, would be smithing stones. I believe there is a mine. I want to say it's like east. There's a mine that has a bunch of smithing stones. That would be the best option for me right now. Um, so I can upgrade the good old club here. But no rolling or jumping challenge. Oh god. I bet you people have done that. You might be joking, but I bet you people have done that. There's there's a huge like challenge scene around around this game, so would not surprise me. Let's let's start with Naked Wretch, then we'll and then we'll we'll consider other ones. Okay, well let's just keep looking for mini areas here. We'll just go one by one. Try to defeat uh most bosses in the game. Oh, also, oh, that's that bug we got earlier. So I, I do, if, I don't want to get too far ahead of myself here, but I do plan on, um, if I'm successful at this challenge, I want to make a YouTube video detailing the struggles and issues in my journey from uh, character creation to beating the game for this challenge too, so... This will this will not only be something we stream. This will be something we make a video about. And if you guys like it enough, you know, hey, we can do we can do challenges and like Dark Souls one, two, three. I still need to beat three though. Yeah, jumping attack is OP too, by the way. It's very powerful in this game. Oh, 
Oh no, we just aggroed. This guy is a pumper. Yeah, he does not get staggered easily. Wait, how do you block that attack? That's some bullcrap. Um, I think what I want to do is run like a little bitch. Over here. I wonder if he follows you in here. There's a thing in here. I don't know what it is, but... Oh no, open. Come on. Oh, hurry up, please. There's a chest. Oh, it's, okay. It's another Ash of War. And I think the Whetstone Knife allows you to use those Ashes of War. Oh, they reset when you go in here. Okay. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Oh, he's back. Oh, okay. I, I'm out of heals. I'm going to go ahead and uh, refresh. Let's run away on Torrent. This game's just a wannabe of Ocarina of Time, okay? Roaming an open world with the horse. Ocarina of Time did it first, okay? Oops. Okay. Um, what do you guys think about me using a buckler for this challenge? I actually really, really like parrying in Elden Ring. It's very, very fun. Would you consider that... Would you consider it a non-retch run if I were to use the buckler? I wouldn't use it for blocking, I would use it solely for parrying. Parries are hype, so yes. Yeah, like like if you can like bust off like a bunch of parries in, in a row. That's very fun. Oh I I'm sorry, I just saw this. Oix and Mortar in two thousand. Thank you for the prime. Played a level one run with parry, it was amazing. It's very satisfying to parry in the Soul series. It can be it can be tricky to learn the timing, but once you do, it is very satisfying. Yeah, oh, here we there. have a. Uh, Could you help us out, Cully? This is a uh, a side quest, right? Is it this thing? There's like a bush or something I need yeah, to talk to. Yeah, you there? Stop pretending you can't see me. Is it the bush? Who do we talk to here? I forget. Why won't anyone look me in the eye? Okay, there we go. Right, right. Would you go and do that? Some I already did the first part of this quest. You will just thank you. I was pushing I ended them. Buck. So he wants you to kill those double bosses. Oh, when they th and so this is all I hope. Or I could then. And I, I think he he gives you something. Right. Uh, I'm you can upgrade armor or something, I forget. Right. Uh, I'm... Okay, yeah, he's sending sending us to the cave. So I've done this a little bit out of order. I'll do side quests as I see him and remember him, but I definitely won't do all of them. Okay, well, what are we looking for here? The map's completely uncovered, which is bothering me. Maybe we cross this bridge for now. Use the ringed finger, the misery cord, and the buckler. I think I used the misery cord actually on my first my first run for quite a bit. That was a good weapon. That's that uh, pointy dagger or sword, right? The misery cord. Um, these aren't bosses, are they? These giants? You can just get an item I won't use from there. We'll skip that. Oh, is this a, uh, a shrine? I think we have a flask upgrade here. Maybe. 
Uh, maybe not. I think it's just an item. There's probably a chest hidden here somewhere. The highest crit fail. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that one had really good crit. Yeah, so you just... You uh, parry spam with that one. I heard a glowy. I heard a bug. Over here. Oh, it's just a flask one. Sometimes those give um, spells and stuff. Ooh, nice. Grave robbing. These will be useful for when I do upgrade. I guess the benefits of this challenge is that there won't really be like a big need for souls, right? Because we, we will only be upgrading our club. Um, I might get multiple clubs though, saying that. We might go clubbing. I might get like a, a fire club or an ice club or a bleeding club or something. I do consider that to be fair and within the, the bounds of the challenge. Okay, where the hell am I going right now? What I should have done is, uh, I should have had, I should have a little map at my side to find all of the side areas in this game. So I could just go from side area to side area. In fact, maybe I'll do that right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to be wandering like like this infinitely. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Elden Ring map all areas. Oh, map fragments. That's how you uncover the map. That's right. Yeah, and you just get those out in the world, right? Okay, I found an interactive map. We'll just kind of... Alright, where am I right now? Okay, we're near the bridge. Forlorn Hound Ergaul. Evergaul. Or Everjail, actually, rather. It's over this way. We're gonna do another boss. Well, actually, I wonder if maybe we should um, upgrade our club. Maybe upgrading the club should be the first order of business. Are these attacking me? I hear combat music. Hang on, I'm, I'm all tabbed right now. I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna look up smithing stones. Shit. Stream snipers. Merchant, East Limgrave, Limgrave Tunnels. Okay, Limgrave Tunnels, that's what we're looking for. We're going to do the Limgrave Tunnels. Which are... Where the hell are the Limgrave? Oh, 
Okay, it's north of the lake. Which is west of us right now. So, the first thing we're going to do... What's this? The Mistwood Ruins. Oh, I hear the wolf guy. There's a uh, an NPC here. Hang on. What's this? Ooh, yoink. Exactly what we need. I won't mess with this right now. Does this game pause when you're in the men when when you're in the map, I wonder? Flausch Mothra, thank you for the prime. Oh no, these things, oh god. It's the rage bears. Oh no. Those things are ridiculously hard. I am not in the mood to fight those right now. Okay, I'm kind of direction challenged here. Let's get up on this cliff and head west. Yeah, I need to find the map fragments too. I do not know where they are though. Hello. Nice grunt. It's a 10 of 10 war cry. Okay, here's the water. Oh, you can't even mo open your map in, com in combat. Wait, isn't there a merchant here too? Yes, right there, I betcha, huh? No, that's just a Godric camp. Oh no! <laughs> Mistake! Mistake! Um, the last grace site of grace visited, please. Uh, which I have no idea where this is. They wanted to protect that bug, apparently. Okay. Yeah, actually, this is good. This is closer to where we wanted to go, so... I died intentionally, okay? Oh, Berserk reference here. The Sword Graveyards. This is a reference to Berserk. The, uh, the creator of Souls and Elden Ring is a big Berserk fan. We want to go in the water, right? The water's right here, I think? Maybe? We need the big lake. I think this will lead to the lake over here. Oh. Yeah, the bridge, it's just uh, south of the bridge is the lake. So it should be right around here. There's also a big boss fight here as well. Okay, here we go. And then we want to head north. Over this direction. Wait, is this right? No, we want to head west. This is under the bridge. West and then north. Um, the frame rate is kind of dipping in some areas. I will fix this for the next stream of this because I'm, I'm streaming on my editing computer right now. We'll, uh, we'll switch to um, my streaming computer. Okay. Limgrave Tunnel. So this is where you get a poop ton of smithing stones. Probably should have been the very first thing we did, in fact. But we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our club here. Oh crap! We could have jumped down there. We'll do that on our way back out. And this this area is it's not free. This area is still infested with enemies, and there's a boss here too. So. Let's just progress carefully. Eh? 
See these things on the wall. See smithing stone. And I believe... Uh, actually, I don't know, but I, I was thinking maybe these... Um, these replenish over time. But maybe not. These enemies are actually a little bit special. They have very resilient skin. <laughs> Excuse me. And um, I'm not having problems with them because the, the club is a crushing weapon. But if you were to try to attack these guys with a katana or something, your swings would bounce off of them. You need a, uh, a weapon with enough crushing or magic to really effectively damage them. Nice. Yeah, let's just loot this entire cave, empty, of, empty it of all of its stones, and then uh, we'll upgrade this as much as we can, and then um, kind of just do a campaign tour of all the bosses in the game. I bet you can jump down here to, like right here. It can, but there's no purpose. Oh, that one. We need to go to that one. Let's, uh, we'll backtrack and do that. Let's just keep progressing this way for now. Ow. Whew. I'm gonna do another level one before the DLC, says uh, Smego. Hey, now's the time, right? Got a couple months before it comes out. I, if, okay, again, maybe getting too far ahead of myself here, but if we are successful in this run, um, we could try to do the DLC as well as a level one wretch, like the same character. I'm sure the game doesn't end once you defeat the final boss, bleh, final boss, right? So... Yeah, we'll just keep that character dormant until the DLC runs, and we'll maybe we'll try to be one of the first people to defeat it at level one. That could be pretty fun. I'd be pretty proud of myself for that. I'm sure at this point, beating the game as a level one wretch isn't really new, but I still want to do it. I think it could be fun. Uh... Glintstone scrap. I'm not sure what those are for. Ugh. Oh, you bastard. Oh my god. This guy's accurate. We got Nolan Ryan here. Dropping bombs. Okay, another elevator. Oh. Here. Aha. Nothing. Oh, there's one right there, though. Here we go. Rune, nice. I'll take it. Ooh, this is a, yeah. Oh, the somber ones. You need, uh, I think you need that for, like, magic weapon upgrades. Forget exactly what that's for. Oh, boss time. Do we not get a, uh, oh, do we not get a bonfire? Oh, no. Well, we're gonna have to do a boss with no heals. Uh, let's see how this goes. I'm very scared right now. No heal boss. 
stone digger troll. Call back to Dark Souls 2. Oh. Wow, I already staggered him. Wow, he sucks. Oh, we can, uh... Ah, oh, I missed it. We, we could have death blowed him there. Damn it. How did I miss both of those? Ow. Okay, death blow, death blow. Oh, damn it, his face is in the wall. Oh, never mind. We Apparently we're bosses in this game. All right. Nothing to worry about, you guys. Nothing to worry about. It's all under control. Okay, I don't want to take the teleport back because there were optional areas. Let's uh, backtrack and do some drop downs here. And then um, we're going to fast travel. We're going to fast travel and then upgrade our club as much as we can. And then we'll, we'll kind of do all the mini bosses we can. I feel very confident in myself right now. Wait, what? Where's the elevator? Oh, this is, uh... Wait, what? I am so confused right now. We came this way. How did we... Did the ele Oh, the elevator went up further. Right? We jumped down. Okay, so there should be a ledge here. Okay, I see. I'm confusing myself. Let's go to this ledge. Okay. And we go back this way, I think. No. We call the elevator and then go all the way up. Um, so, not to get into review mode right away, but we will eventually be reviewing Elden Ring. Let me just talk a little bit about this to kind of share my initial thoughts from my first play. I, and I, I love Elden Ring, or else I wouldn't be playing it. But, um, I feel like there's some improvements on Dark Souls in a few different ways, and there's some some uh some fallbacks i feel like one of the the most appealing things from souls like games is their uh it's their difficulty right and one of the reasons that makes them difficult is you can always farm in souls games to kind of brute force your way past stuff however the game is much more linear. Elden Ring is much more sandboxy and open-ended, and there's so many different side areas. If you are a completionist such as myself, and you do all of the side areas, you pretty much over-level the entire game, in my opinion. Um, which kind of takes, it kind of makes it easy, actually. I felt like in my other playthrough of, of Elden Ring, things were pretty easy by uh, the time everything was said and done. Um, so, a little bit of feedback here. Again, preview of my review, is that I feel like Elden Ring maybe went a little bit too high with the quantity of these side areas. Um, and not enough with quality. I feel like if they reduced the amount of these side caves, but maybe put more work into making them a little bit more unique from each other, you would have avoided two things. A, you would avoid making the game a little bit too easy, and B, uh, things would have felt a little bit more varied than they do, because th a lot of those caves can get kind of samey. That's like the mine archetype. We'll see like 20 of those throughout the game. That is going to be something I mention in my review. Okay, strength and armament. 
Boom. Boom. Now we need four. We need two more level one smithing stones. So I yeah, I actually have a lot of lot to talk about with Elden Ring. Very much looking forward to it. But we have to beat it first. I've not beaten it yet, so. I don't want to be an IGN video game reviewer and review games before I even beat them. <laughs> video game journalism, by the way. One of the reasons why... Sorry to get on this huge tangent, but one of the reasons why I want to make reviews of games, not that there's any shortage of them on the internet, and I, I hope this doesn't come across as arrogant, but I feel like... While there are a lot of video game reviews out there, there aren't really a lot that are, like, really quality. I'm one of the people that's pretty disappointed in video game journalism these days. Um, and I, I'm one of my goals is to sort of help help the scene out by adding reviews that hopefully don't suck. But, yeah. I'm working on that Sekiro review right now, and... Eldering will be second. Um, I think I'm going to call it a session here, though, you guys. So we got started. We defeated a bunch of bosses, including uh, the Mounted Knight. I think for next stream, we'll probably set our goal of maybe completing all of Limgrave here, maybe northern and southern Limgrave, and getting ready for Godric... Godric Castle. We'll kill Margit and Godric and stuff. Um, I'm definitely going to get a map online to try to track down. Oh, that's right. It shows the waypoints, the uh, the map fragment things on your map. I forgot about that. Okay. All right. It's starting to come back to me. But, yeah. Uh, we'll do that next time. And we'll uh, start to clear out this map. And I'll try to kill as many bosses as I can for you guys. And... Hopefully this will be a nice, fun, challenging but rewarding challenge. But I'm going to call it right here. I'm going to go edit my Sekiro video. Thanks for watching me today, you guys. I appreciate it. Um, I will not be on tomorrow. I got some stuff going on tomorrow, so there will not be a stream. Hey, my guy kind of looks like naked if I position it correctly, right? If I cover up my loincloth. Right, doesn't he look completely buck naked right now? That's amazing. It's beautiful gameplay. That's quite the big two-hander he's holding right there. But, uh, yeah, thank you for watching me. And uh, I'll see you guys, uh, not tomorrow, but the day after. And keep an eye out on my YouTube channel. Monday or Tuesday, you're going to have a Diablo 3 video. All right, night, guys.